Oh, let's go. There we go. This is a different vantage point. Yeah. I, right, I think know. we're yeah. I think we're going. All right. What happened last time? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> my, grand, uh, my grandfather died. Yeah, what do y'all want to do? So the the inconspicuous eight, the I eight. Um, after seeing the airship crash and explode into that purple and green mushroom cloud. Uh, you went to investigate after reaching the crash site. Um, confusingly, you weren't able to find any pieces or remnants of the crash ship. Um, you were able to notice some dispar- some disparity looking through the smoke of some sort of magical, confusing aura. Um, that you've, you're not super familiar with. <clears throat> um, after not getting any answers there, you, had, you headed back to the shore where you all went back to the Undercity and split up into asking Shark what's going on, telling all of the people in the bottom yeah. <laughs> what you're up to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, going upstairs to the fighting pit and letting out some of your frustrations on other people. That's a nice way to put it. Getting your ass whooped. That's a nice way to put it. Unfortunately, the other people that you took your frustrations on was a ex member of the Astral Brotherhood named Vic. Um, after a formidable opponent um, that you were very close to defeating. Um, Thanks. <laughs> After realizing who he was and chasing him down after not getting as many answers from Shark as you would hope, um, you ended up being able to defeat Vic in hand to hand to hand to hand to hand. <laughs> and, <laughs> and chain grapple combat. Um, he was able to provide a few details using a, a message spell from Isadora um, about the events that had transpired and potentially what the Astral Brotherhood may be up to, but unable to provide any specifics, left that interaction with maybe more questions than answers. So, as <clears throat> always, just left it off. Went back to the crib, went back to the church. Um, and had a night's rest in which uh, Anari tried to attune to the armor. That didn't happen. Did not happen yet. Did it mm-hmm. blow her back into the wall? Yeah. Oh, God. Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, your sister, <laughs> does, you know, as you attune, your sister shows up. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just Anari getting smacked. Like, How did you I told you about the note. I didn't tell you to put this shit on. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh... Add some more mental trauma. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but that well. throughout the throughout the rest of the night, everyone is um, able to get a long rest, reset their stats, get their spells back. Um, any we don't have a monk, so no key points. But you know, everything gets reset. Um, the next day is now the second day of harvest. Second day of the harvest festival. But it's not the same energy up top as it was yesterday. Knowing this harvest festival, this happens every year. Every year. Uh, is there like a major event that happens? Like, is there like the final concert of the harvest festival, or is there like a feast? Like, is it a culmination of something to build up, or is it just like seven days of partying? It's just like seven days of partying. Okay. So there's other holidays that have that singular moment that's okay. built up to. Harvest Festival is all about a week of giving and receiving. Okay. God, I sound like Joey from his speech. In the <laughs> <laughs> but it's all about, it's all about, it's all about, it's all about like that familial like bond with everyone that you live with and share this piece of Alta on. All to be the world you guys live on. So yeah, it's Thanksgiving week long. Yeah, it's had a week long Thanksgiving, <clears throat> but there's no football. not one big feast. It's okay. just everywhere you go, people are happy to share their wares. Is that same in the other city, or is that only? That is. This is more of like a Thaldron wide thing. 
Oh, okay, okay. Oh. This is like, like if you went down to Punitera, they'd be having they would their own also be doing their own Harvest Fest, okay. which is why it was a rare occurrence that the Elder King came back to Shazera, because usually he does the Harvest mm. Festival festivities in Punitera. the capital, which is in Punitera. Mm. So it was sort of a rarity that he came back. The assumption being that it was his final, you know, term, if you will. Okay. And he wanted to go back and kind of do a, he was going to spend a couple of days here, a couple of days in the other city. So, okay, so Adam knows that. Would Callum know that, that it's weird for my grandfather to come? I wouldn't say weird. It's just rare. Like, it's not, it's not like out of the ordinary for him to come see his family. But it is. During Harvest Fest. Yeah, it is, it is during Harvest Fest because it's. He's got his own there's stuff so, to do. Yeah, there's so much going on and so much responsibility, okay. especially as royalty, because somebody's got to accept all those gifts. <laughs> 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 well, him. Um, but that's the same for the royalty here in Shazera. Mm. Excuse okay. me, and in some of the other uh, partitions of the world. Okay. So, and I have one more question. I bet you but. do. <laughs> no, not just one more. Let's be real. In the event that the if Callum would be taught this growing up, what happens if the Elder King dies? Like, if the Pope dies, what is the next step of like the election process? Like, what is supposed to be taking place right now? Who's the so, stand in? Yeah. Maybe that comes up. <clears throat> so, typically, mm-hmm. what happens? And it's I say typically because this is sort of a a typical situation. <laughs> this is a this is a unheard of moment because kings have died. Yeah. Kings have been murdered. They've been killed. But never so close to them announcing their ascension. Um he had pretty much foretold that he would be announcing who would be taking his place in the coming like weeks, coming mm-hmm. months. Sure. And then this happened. So most of the time when a elder king would be fulfilling his sentence or like ending his life like to the fullest, he would have had this decades ago, but he didn't. Um, You don't know why, because you don't have communication with him, but he never did. And so it's very atypical because most of the time, almost immediately after you've ascended to the throne, one of the one of the responsibilities you have is to name your secession, and he never did, and that's why this is a weird situation. Usually, there's a line of secession. Like, if I die, this person, if this person isn't eligible for whatever reason, death yeah. being one of them, mm-hmm. it goes to this person, and then this person. It's usually a long list. He never provided such a list, mm. um, which likely made him more of a target. But this is the day he was, or this is about the time he was about to. You think so. You don't know. But you, you, you think so. There's so, been rumors that you've heard throughout the cities that the elder so king in, is going to So in this event, system. who would, would it be the elder militant who would take no. over? Oh, okay. We just don't know. It, it, would be, it would be decided by the council of the elders. Mm-hmm. So okay. that is not up to civilian discussion, okay. unfortunately. All right. That's it. I mean, the only lead we have currently is your parents, correct? That's to find out what was going on with that explosion. <clears throat> I mean, uh, all I didn't really know is that it was an experiment of theirs, but I doubt we're going to be able to track them down. And as far as the element of what it is, maybe my <clears throat> uncle might know, but he's not as educated as my parents uh, are. My, my brother might be able to help us. Alvin's a very capable wizard. A uh, very uh, smart individual. If you had to choose between us going to see your uncle or your brother, who would you choose? Or trying to find your parents. Might Are be. they both here in the city? No, as far as I know, they're in Hardenham. My uncle, I came with my uncle here to Redborough to, uh, well, I don't know what he was necessarily doing. He's an advisor to the Shazira's in some sort of sense through a different family of a family of a family, right? Usually more entailed with the Moros, who are the Hardmore, uh, uh, Hardmore family in power there, as far as I recall. 
But if I had to choose, that's a very uh, interesting choice for me because my uncle and I might recently have had a falling out. Okay. And my brother has a little resentment from our past with each other. So it would be pretty difficult one way or the other to get an answer. My brother might be a little bit more willing because if we get into his space, he probably wants us out of it as fast as possible. He's doing a lot of work uh, with, with, Who's with student the, and other things. Your family's on the list for the Abysmal Brotherhood? What is it? Astral, 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 Astral Brotherhood. brotherhood. Um, Abyss. 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 Velcro licks his finger and then just puts it back. <laughs> yeah. I, I know exactly who you do. Nope. <laughs> um, who was on the list? You or your brother or your family name? That's the problem, and I have that little piece of paper on it. Um, it, it just says Kima, which is my mother's side of the family. My father's side of the family, I don't even know. I mean, I guess I would have to assume it was... Uh, Bexley, um, but my father was not really of anybody of importance. He wasn't even a citizen until he got his education. But so the Kimar family has been around for a little while. Where are the Kimar is based out of? Uh, same thing with Hopmore. They, my uncle Dovath oversaw the family as the last living male heir. And so he's here. He's in Hopmore. No, he, he would have left Redboro uh, a week or two ago. How far away is Hopmore from here? Uh, travel I know Hardmore is more or less halfway from where we were when we found you. Mm. Just up the road, I forget the name of the road there, but I think it's like two days, three days walk. <clears throat> to Hardmore? Farther. Farther. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Word. Wordy moms. You guys were having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to scarf it down. Hardmore <laughs> um, is a coastal coast. city. So. so it's at the northern coast. Like northwestern coast of Red, uh, Red of Shizera. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's through a big forest. Hartmore is kind of isolated, like intentionally, um, but it's it's a it's a very it's it's like Redboro. It's a very big city. Yeah. Um, it's just it would take <clears throat> by foot probably about two or three weeks. Oh. Yeah. Well, we have some money. We can get some horses. I'm sure we could. Yeah. Um, horses. Define falling out. Like hates you kind of thing? Or? <clears throat> Are we referring to my brother or my own? Your uncle, because we're talking oh. Hartmore. We Falling out is more along the lines of he got tired of providing me with certain either financial ability to do certain things, or just I haven't lived up to his strict nature of what success means. Hmm. Why am I not surprised you seem to have had a falling out with a lot of people? You Listen, have money now. I have Does he not see that as success? <clears throat> Let's just say the money I have now was given to me to piss off. Mm. Is it the only is he the only <clears throat> person we can talk to about Kimo or your parents? Sounds like finding your best your parents would be the best all around option. I would love to find my parents, Kelly, but it's proving difficult. As I'm not entirely sure where they are. I know that they were uh, preoccupied when I was a child, and I haven't seen them in quite some time. So, would my uncle turn me away if we went there? Probably not. I mean, he might say, you know, what the hell are you doing here, Cornelius? Have you done anything with yourself in the last two weeks? And of course, I'd be like, well, who the hell turns their life around in two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I could, I don't know, convince him. If we talk to Aldwin, I can talk to Aldwin. I mean, we could even talk to El Rel. She's a little science nerd, too. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it'll take two weeks to get there. So there's a whole month. <laughs> that is true. Well, I mean, searching on the road. I could say to him, I've done a little less gambling. Is that true? <clears throat> I could lie to him and say I've done a little less gambling. My uncle didn't he would maybe know who possibly might have information on what we, we saw with the explosion and all that things. But I, he was never really the intelligence uh, of the family. He's very stern. I mean, he's, he, he runs a great political family as we all as we are. But my mother was always the smart one. She was. She and my father were brilliant people. 
and I wish I could find them, but I don't know where they are. Remind me, when was the last time you saw them? <laughs> Fifteen years ago, they were kidnapped from my home. Oh. Okay. That's the reason why my brother fell out with me. Because I saw it happen, and I was too scared to say anything at the time. Oh. Now he focuses on his work, so what little <coughs> brotherly love we might have had. <coughs> you see, Cornelius struggled a little bit. Uh, might have been lost believing that I was the reason our parents may not even be alive anymore. Do you, do you know who took them? Or what they looked like? My memory is a greenish foot of a woman. And the other foot was made of some sort of metallic structure. She was missing a leg. She was a Githyan Kai woman, who now I learned of a name of one named Kira. Just yesterday, for, or just earlier from Vic. Yesterday from me. Yesterday. <laughs> 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 conversation. <laughs> so, to connect the dots, you've learned that a woman named Kira kidnapped your parents from Vic, who confirmed no. that she was a... Vic, well, Vic said that he used to work with abducting people. Mm-hmm. And Kira is the heartless cunt who took my parents. So, potential... Astral Brotherhood. Abysmal Brotherhood. Astral. Yes. Yes. I'm going to assume that they had something to do with it, but I can't take my anger out on a man who, one, had no dealings with it, and I've already been forgiven. To some degree, I feel maybe I'll have that opportunity. By forgiving her, I mean probably stabbing her. <laughs> so... <laughs> So then finding a hideout of the <coughs> astral brotherhood would be another good lead. The problem is, emphasis, I don't, emphasis on the ass. Yes. <laughs> the problem I have, though, is the astral brotherhood may have been doing something for somebody else because when they were kidnapped, she walked into my room as I hid underneath the bed. My father had given me this rod in his journal. He told me not to come out, and when she went to my room, I heard her say to one of her companions, did we get all three? Three things that my mother and father were working on were inventions for us. Mm -hmm. um, and I pull out the rod and this has my initials on it. It's made specifically for me. There's one more out there, a magical one for Alvin, and one more pen for my sister Bryra. Whoever this was knew that they were working on the grains of rice and the explosion that I mentioned. Or these particular items. I don't know which one really came first, but I know our parents knew that they needed to make those for us. So now, somewhere out there, whoever it is that owns these knows what happened to my parents. I just know that she said, he won't be happy. We only found two. And I need to know who that is. He's, he's our souls who took my parents, so no more, more, or no more than just mere employees, I feel like. Employees can lead to the boss. They can. I just hope that I have the opportunity to meet whoever this is. She took a lot from me, I said. And I've been wandering ever since. So. Well? Dovath felt it the last straw that I had come to Redborough and did nothing. I don't have the education as my brothers and sisters do, and I'm not an inventor. So, yes, I do have money, but it was the last $3,000 I'll ever see from him. Three thousand dollars. You have other strengths, <laughs> even though you aren't an inventor. <coughs> You're very funny. How am I funny? <laughs> <laughs> we just expressed this very sad story. <laughs> the way I 
have a bouquet. <laughs> now that is not funny. <laughs> Which I can get that today. Should be ready. We got a few things we can do, but I don't, yeah. I don't know. The way I see it, we have a few different options. We could go to Hartmore. That's a long journey, but we could do it. We could follow some of the path that Vic gave us and maybe find out more about Kira because that's a bit of a two birds, but that's a bit more vague. Those are the two I'm seeing right now. I feel at this point we need to focus on this astral people. Mm. There's much there that we, one, seem to need to prevent from occurring. These are not good people Mm -hmm. from what we can see. And if we can bring a stop to them, I think we must. And if that means we can help your mother and father, they may still be alive. We don't know. Mm -hmm. I think too many paths are pointing to them at this point. I just, Cornelius is connected, and Melacrop is connected, and Levi is connected. At this point, there's got to be something there. And they're connected to the Noctis Society, correct? Noxus. <coughs> Noxus. Yes. I'd like to think my parents are alive, but at this point, I've all we've given up a lot of that hope. I just want to know who did it so I can dole out my mm. own brand of justice. It sounds like either way, the Astral Brotherhood are the way to, to do that. I'm not saying they're not, but I mean... At the very least, if we could find information at the, the library, but I mean, but are we still celebrating here for a week? I mean, we're just going to stay around. Uh, I could talk to the people at the... Can't, these, these are unprecedented circumstances, at least uh, from what I remember, so... Uh, I would doubt you were going to get in at the moment. Do we think the Astro Brotherhood has anything to do with the bombing? I would suspect so. At this point. Because either they found out who it was that the succession is going to be and didn't like it, or they're preventing it from being who it is they're going to be. Still, they didn't like it. What was well, the name of that girl that you did not like? Lenora. Lenora. Can you hire people from the Astro Brotherhood to do things like this? I would imagine if you knew the right person. Probably. Money can get you a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And they don't seem to be savory people to start with, so I'm sure that they would accept money for things like that. Or favors. Mm-hmm. Could I ask the language? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> well, I was just being like, Levi was part of a, you were part of a group of people hired to do something. Did you know the Astral Brotherhood were also hired to do those kind of things other than kidnapping? Would they do anything for money, no scruples? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's real spot on, Levi. <laughs> Scenarios like the Baronistos, but maybe they'll do things for money. I think they do it for their own cause. I don't think they stole the tablet and killed us for money. I don't think they attacked him for money. So it seems. Where like was your know. fame again? Think they? Where was the? Uh, the one I resided out of the one that I was uncovering. The one you died in. Uh, it is. Is that anywhere near Hartmore? Sort of, I would say it's between Mithrost and Hartmore. Where's that? Between Mithrost and Hartmore. Uh, <laughs> Map. Okay. So, near Hartmore. It's across the river. Yeah, you pretty much said that. <clears throat> In the very cold north. Now, I know Mithrost is probably even farther away than uh, Hartmore, but I would say if there's any way or anywhere that I personally have sway. Uh, as far as I know, my family is still there, and uh, from what Shalane told me, my former associate is there as well. Um, but I don't know what information they would be able to give us on anything pertinent at the moment, but I know that there is uh, some records there. I mean, I was the grand historian of the Frame Faith, so... Tons of knowledge up there. I don't know if any would be relevant. Perhaps it could be, but that's two weeks out of the way if we're heading down the wrong path. So we either. I mean, it's safe to say none of our enemies are probably going to be here much longer. 
they did what they did, they're going to be on the moon. Probably put out. I do I'm not afraid to talk to Alvin or Dovath, if that helps. <clears throat> Just may not give us the answers we're looking for in quite the time we need it. Astro Brotherhood, in my mind, that's got to be some sort of literature on them. If you can get people to stop celebrating, which they're celebrating right now, it's really bad timing. Yeah. It's a pretty gigantic task to get anyone to do anything productive uh, during harvest. So. Oh, I know. I've definitely spent a week fucking around during this time, too. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. That's, that's what that ah. means. <laughs> Got it. It's a good thing. So, what are we doing? It's a good question. Yeah. yeah. We're figuring that out. <laughs> Do we have any leads on finding an abyssal other than it's kicking Astral. Vic's ass again? Yeah, Think stars. stars. You've been playing too much Genshin. Baby. Stars, yeah. stars, like star boys, star brothers. Star boys. Star I'm boys. gonna start calling them that from now on. Do we have any leads on the star boys? This is a William yeah. situation all over. Thank you. It's a what? William. William. I wonder if they have a guy named The Weeknd on there. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we could do is start out as you try to see if you can get into the library to some degree. I believe that that's probably the best course of action. Also, we may or may not shrug have a blood relative <laughs> of the Shazera family right now. That you think that I'm going to be that castle today? You were able to commandeer a ship, so... Uh, if you would like to see my... Head on the chopping block, then sure, by all means. For all we know, the Elder Kings has been chopped off. <sighs> the excommunicated Harsh. child of the Shazaran family will not pass well. They're killing Shazaras. Yeah. That is um, well, I can. I mean, we can. We can always try, but. <laughs> That's the. I does. Well, she'll have an escape plan for me. I'm not. At the very least, I could go get my cape. I. <laughs> and then find out what the price of the force is. Get my cape. I would say, if there was a time to try it, this is probably the time because ultimately, I don't think they're worried about the politics between Shazeras right now. I think they're worried yeah. about who's going to take the throne. We definitely know it's not you. Well, not with that attitude. I think Calvin is a perfectly capable individual who's shown great restraint. Now, the state of his brain, he's got a cross on it. Like, it's not going to be good. Great restraint? Well, no, I mean... Uh, you don't have my vote. <laughs> don't get your vote. It's not a democracy. I would say, <laughs> given that Callan has Plenty the ability taxes, to double in size and destroy most structures... Uh, extant here in the Undercity and hasn't for as long as I've known him up until a couple of days ago. I would call that restraint. Yeah. Um, but right now, uh, in lieu of politics, I would like to see uh, what we could find at this library uh, or if we can even enter it uh, and if we can get close enough. Uh, you have the ability to send messages, do you not? Yes. Given my understanding of such spells, there's a, a range on that, a certain <clears throat> distance with which you're able to do that. Mm-hmm. There is. Google. There sure is. Well, if he goes to the library, I can see how much horses are. If we're thinking about going, then that would be how much it costs. 120 feet. Well, if anything, we might be able to. What I know, does Shalane live on the island, like in the Cape? Yeah. Um, I know my associate lives in there, and if anything, I might be able, able to ask her a question or two. Uh, it's hard, so I don't want to take up too much of her time, but we also need to figure out what's going on. I feel like the library is probably the best place to start. Mm-hmm. And then you can get your cave. It's very important to me. Mm-hmm. If that is how we proceed, I would imagine you will probably have to go alone or with one other person. They're not going to let all of us into the library. There's no way. Uh, perhaps. Do you mean I feel like probably not her, considering she had the blade last. Probably not. 
Uh, I don't know if there's anything wrong with me. There's wrong nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with you. They just have a bad connotation with the blade. It's not you. I didn't put it in my bag. I think it's more of a citizen versus non-citizen thing. Is my guess. My it's worry would be that Lorna is around. Lenora? Lenora, that's the one. <laughs> Would be that she's around. And I don't think <coughs> she thinks she has anything to fear from us anymore because she took yeah, the blade. That's true. So we're uh, we're inconsequential, yeah, I, I think, in her eyes. I will gladly go around Good and eat more too. meat if yeah. that's what I must do. I know that you need a message for. Well, if I'm not physically able to enter the keep, uh, we might be able to reach her from outside the keep mm. uh, and ask if she had just but a moment to talk. Mm-hmm. But I would say we may as well try to see the library. Uh, I know Kehana has business there as well. Questions she needs answered. Okay. Uh, hey, let's try, <clears throat> at least. This may be a naive question, but from where I come from, though festivals happen, usually a big catastrophe as this puts it on halt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does that not happen here? Do you really think things are going to be normal up there? Oh, no. 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 And I... Uh, but, they, but they may be acting like it's normal to settle people down. Frankly, we won't know. Explosion. Pretend it doesn't exist. Pretend it was a show. Happen. I don't know. We won't know until we... Lie. Something my family does very well. I never yeah. understand you humans. We don't understand that. We won't know until we get up top whether anyone's coping well or unhealthily. Uh, my money is on both. So, um, yes, I, I think we should at least head for the library and we can go from there. I think that's a good place to start. Maybe it'll give us some more direction on which way to go. But I think we should plan on one or two people being there and the rest of us need to stay back. And if you're worried about the citizen thing, well, then I have to go. I'm the only one here. Sorry yes, for him. I agree. And, you know, given the circumstances we find ourselves in, um, you know, I would ask that everyone be prepared for anything. Oh, violent or run. otherwise. Be prepared so. to run. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well then, I think we are headed back up. Okay. And conspicuous I go. <laughs> <laughs> it might not even matter now. <laughs> Say there's a whole like group of your people, like animal related humanoids. Yeah, I know. I'm still the only one though. That's yeah. of mine. But regardless. Fake to be human. What time of it or what time is it? I mean first thing in the morning. Okay. It's so perfect morning. timing. It's brunch. Up, Let's go. Kind of I'm talking about family combo, yeah, so. family power wow. in the morning. It's a bottomless yeah. mimosas. What was your family's name? Um huh? the thrust. Uh, my family name is Velstad. Van Helsing? <laughs> Stat. Uh, Velstad. Velstad. Mm. So to the library? Skippy doodle. Let's go. Close as we can get. Back to Jacob. Yay! Yay! Is that his name? Don't tell me he's working every day. He's forgetting everybody's name. He's on shift yeah. every day. He doesn't get to celebrate. He's racking up that OT, baby. <clears throat> so, you guys go back up <clears throat> to the top side of Redboro. And it is just as desolate as it was yesterday. No. There are no celebrations. There are no shops or carts out and open with merchants selling their wares. <clears throat> what you do see is the rose gold colored armor of militant members on horseback patrolling the streets. Fuck. Well, look at that. Not everybody is liars like you. <laughs> there is no way to be inconspicuous with this. <sighs> well, Callum, it's up to you whether or not you want to proceed. We, we can try. I just, I can't guarantee that I'm going to make it out of there. But we can try. <sighs> to Callum is going to get to the bridge, or however long it takes us to get there, and take the hugest puff of glow cap. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say before that, well, 
I know that things are locked down, but... Go ahead and burn one and roll. Yeah. I rolled an 18, so... Oh, you're good. We might as well... It's a good high. (laughs) For three hours. We might as well see if we can collect your cloak or cape along the way. Yeah, I'm getting the idea that probably won't happen, but... I mean, mean, we can stop and grab her real quick. Yeah, we'll see if she's open. Uh, (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Her entrance way is magical, so maybe there's something there, too. So... So, you guys go back towards um, Designer's Alley, and... You go to the same location where Nisha's wardrobes uh, was located. And just like last time, you push your hand through that alleyway looking entrance and you're able to push through magically inside. <clears throat> Who's all going inside Nisha's? No, I'm going to wait outside. Oh. Oops, wait, I'm I'm waiting outside. outside. I want to go. I'm okay. waiting outside. Okay, so just the two of you go inside. Yeah, I'm uh, going inside. Sure. Right. Levi definitely doesn't go inside. He got weirded out last night. <laughs> <laughs> My soul. Um, so you go in, and uh, just like last time, it's elegant, it's beautiful, well lit, um, and you hear the clip clop of little shoes at the top of the stairs, and she sees you. She says, "Of course." The world ends and you want your cape. <laughs> if I'm going to die, I might as well be dying of fine makings of your craft. You should shout that from the mountaintops. That is the best advertisement I'll get all week. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're open for business, but that does mean you're okay. That means a lot to me. Open for business is one way to think of it, but I'm I live here, so... My home has a door that's open to anyone, so welcome to my home and business. I guess I just never knew if it closed or became a... Of course I can make it. Okay. I don't know spells. It's happening. But your cape is ready. Splendid. And you see her kind of scurry down the stairs, her little feet following all the way down to the bottom. And now that she gets down to where you are, again, she's maybe three and a half feet tall. Um, like a very small individual, but you see her pull out from this this sort of knapsack that extends probably about three feet, <clears throat> almost like a, um, you know, like a map holder, you know, like a scroll tube. holder. Yeah, like a tube thing. It's almost like that, but it has like an opening. And she pulls out, it's almost like a, like a bag of holding that's, this size and she pulls out the cape and it is exactly what you were looking for. The perfect shade of red. Little gold accents. Hmm. Yeah, the size of blue. Mm-hmm. And Ari can only be like, would you like me to set it on fire to make sure it works? This one? He's like, grab it. It's <laughs> fireproof. <laughs> That's my point. Just to make sure you get your money's worth. I trust Nisha. And you should. And you see her, you see her just a little orb of fire and just, and as it's in your hand, this very small little controlled fireball just, and you see the the cape just erupt in flames and then simmer down. And you watch it, you watch it, like even though it was on fire, like in the flames caught, no damage to the cape. And almost, it's almost like the flame was, it just added to the look of the cape for just a moment and then it sizzled up, it sizzled out. See, I could have done that too. Well, you choose the black fire. A couple okay, that's hundred good. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nisha. And how much do I? I don't know if I paid you last time, but if not, okay. how much do I owe you for such a wonderful item? It's a great question. Once I go back in my notes and find that, oh, <clears> uh, I, I do yeah, I believe you paid <laughs> the last time. I think I did. You paid. Right? I think you paid yeah. ahead of time because you just wanted it done. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so she says, that's not a problem. You've already paid me. This is, uh, this is, this is work on back order, so. Right. My apologies. Go on, try it on. Let's see what it looks like. I put it on. I take my pendant, the last that was remaining from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice little, nice little bit of diamond with a platinum band encasing it. And I put it on and, ah. She looks at uh, Anari and she's like, you young man. 
very lucky. She looks back at you and your cape says, dashing, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Got all the sunglasses on. Mm-hmm. Come on, you can say it. Handsome. Yeah? She doesn't know. A handful of people. He's something. I will add that. <laughs> You're one for self confidence, Amari. <laughs> speak the truth, none of the truth. <laughs> She's a, strange, she's a strange person from a very old time away where people are different. You don't have to add All that right. disclaimer. I have taste. Well, would you like anything from here you while camera. you're at it? Hmm? So would you like anything from here oh, while you're at it? Yes. Do you give things away for free? I have no money. No. No, oh, what? See what I mean? <laughs> so strange, so old. I don't know. So old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Misha, uh, I was wondering oh, if... Oh, you're here too. Yes, I did enter with it. <laughs> uh, when you would be accepting commissions again? Darling, I don't stop working. <laughs> I am concerned for my physical well-being, and I was wondering if you uh, dealt in uh, perhaps... An item of your persuasion that could uh, help me uh, in protecting myself. So no. it's the highest AC of the person in this group. <laughs> she just like looks at you up and down, kind of steps over right around your shin. You just feel like protect you from what? From any number of dangers we may encounter yet. My traveling to hurt you. My traveling companions are, uh, shall we say, reckless. <laughs> and I have found myself in situations where uh, I may be the only person who can keep them from the brink of death. And I would not like to be in a situation where I myself uh, are doing what the kids call uh, a death saving throw. Um, so I was just wondering if, if that was within your capabilities to, to help with uh, protection or something like that. If you had something ready-made or if something could be requested from me. You can't be referring to me. I'm quite intelligent. Never reckless. I don't know why, but I, I always like I I was outside. outside. <laughs> you know, like, my feelings are hurt, and I don't know why. <laughs> you're just out there, like, a little Ow. upset with yourselves. <laughs> like, someone's but, talking about me. Um, I'm not so close, am I? She's like, well, to be perfectly honest, I deal more, <laughs> high, I deal more in high fashion um, with the occasional magic. Flair, but I don't. I genuinely don't know what I could possibly provide <laughs> that would make you more indestructible. He's just going through all the dialogue options. Yeah, click this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Click this one. Do you, do you want more armor? Do you want whatever? What I I know you don't deal in armor, uh, although I would like to inquire about that probably at the keep. Um, Maybe we can have. Spikes. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I need spikes necessarily. A pufferfish. Will inflate itself and create spikes. Those are quite. You can inflate yourself with spikes. I have a design. Uh, you, do you know anyone that works in uh, puffer fishing? I, um, <laughs> not puffer fishing. I'm perfectly capable of uh, perusing a lake at my leisure or mm-hmm. ocean. Um, do you know anyone that works in armor, uh, specifically custom-made pieces? As soon, and I mean the very second, that armor becomes fashionable again, I will have a list of names. <laughs> but, I understood. Sweetheart, you look terrible in the best way. I, I receive that. Thank you. Now, if we could talk about your scarf again, that I might be able to help with, but armor is not... What would the turnaround no time... Hideous thing. What would the turnaround time be on getting this uh, tailored out a bit? Tailored out a bit? I, uh, like, wanted it to fit a little bit better. <clears throat> um, she just pulls out. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Now, how much would that run me? Well, you're a friend of Cornelius, so... Ten gold? Five gold. Five gold. 
<laughs> I'll hand her ten gold. <laughs> and then for the f- <clears throat> for the first time in like years of you guys knowing me, months for you, years for you, I will take the cloak off. Oh. And then as I kneel down to Nisha, I'll point at the patches on the inside, up bunched up around where the base of his helmet is. Uh, I would like to keep these intact. Uh, these are from my family, and I would appreciate it if the, those make it into the finished product. As she holds it, and looking back at you, she holds it. She says, oh, you left one thing out, darling. And she takes this a, a pair of shears, and not at where the patches are, but a little <laughs> bit below. I know. A little Shh. below. She goes, Shh. and like cuts it to where it's like half dangling. And you guys watching are like, what the fuck? And then you watch... You watch it just like stitch itself back together and like pull itself back up into the perfect purple scarf again. Just forgot to mention this. Well, I did mention it to you last time. Cough, DM. <clears throat> I'm forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> Things have happened. Cough shade. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know if it necessarily needs a fireproof enchantment with its ability to repair itself. But no, no, of course not. I know it's a magical garment in nature, so how well, much do I owe you? I'm not changing my pricing. Five is what I said. Understood. Come back come back tomorrow, if you're in town, and um, oh, I'll make you look fabulous. Do you have a <clears throat> Do you deal in a loner cloaks? What? <laughs> <laughs> he feels naked. <laughs> Are you at least 25 years old for the rental? Uh, <laughs> it's like a car. At least double that. <laughs> it's vintage and it's fine. <clears throat> um, she says, well, I have more trench coat style. The only thing big enough for you would be a, a large trench coat, but... Um, Maybe some drapery. If that would... I could pull down my nice sheets. Curtain, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can wear as a poncho. <laughs> well, but I don't have anything handmade to your sizing. Understood. Well, that, that, that's <clears throat> fine. I, I, I will return to you tomorrow. But your shoulders look exquisite. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind doing one thing for me? Do you still have no gold? Hopefully it's free of charge with what he's paid you extra. Talk to me. This leather that I'm wearing, are you able to identify it by any chance? Might be able to. Would you mind? It looks old. Which tracks? Well, you, <clears throat> you know, had used everything last night and we hadn't talked this morning. <laughs> it's ritual. She can literally do it as many times as oh, she wants. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I didn't know about you. We're already right here. <laughs> We're on that again. We're already here. It's free anyways. You yeah. already paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all get the cape? I was like to say, while they're talking, I'm kind of perusing. Does she have things on the racks hanging like, around? No, it looks like a beautiful, okay. like, open double staircase out to a balcony, just kind of open room. This is not, no, no, this no. is not like a shop. Yeah. A traditional looking shop. It just looks like a gotcha. beautiful room. <clears throat> I suppose I could... Give you some information. <clears throat> Do you mind taking it off and handing it to me? You don't. You can't just touch it while it's on me. I prefer not to get that close if I can. Okay. Takes off and gives it to you. She has and no she, reason to distrust you. She holds it. She holds it in her hand for just a moment. She's like, oh goodness. Okay. Um. Watch this. And she like sets it up on like an easel almost in the center of this marble room and you see her her fingers start buzzing with electricity and she says this should be cool (laughs) and you see this like chain lightning from her finger just like you see the electric discharge buzzing off of other elements of the room as it hits this armor and you see the armor just go (laughs) oh it absorbed it and she says isn't that a trick well, that's quite impressive. 
Does it do that for all magic? Um, not quite. You can typically choose which mm. element you want it to resist against, but... Ah. It, I think that requires a little bit more between you and the <clears throat> armament. Nothing more that I could really do besides tell you about it. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your help. I greatly appreciate it. Praise Eratok. I'll put it back on now. Thank you. <laughs> and she hands it back to you. And it's no longer buzzing with electricity, but <laughs> yeah. You get shocked when you put it on. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> or the first oh, stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As we uh, leave. You do not have access. Like, you can't. I can't do it yet, yeah. But. As we leave, I'll say to Nisha, uh, one last thing, Nisha, and I may have asked you before, I don't recall. I too am forgetful. Um, do we, do, do you possess anything akin to that tube you have? Some sort of holding, uh, whether it be a bag of holding or something of that nature, we might have need to have more space on that. I've got this little pouch, which you know holds all that's near and dear to most people, money. Uh, but, you know, I was wondering if you had something more general. I don't know. We have a few things here and there we wanted to keep private and never had the ability to do so. Very smart, Seamus. Thank you. Um, of course. I mean, of course. I don't, I don't have anything on hand, but when you come back tomorrow for his cloak, I can have one available for you. Okay. I was hoping maybe if you had something pre-made as like a, a spare storage kind of thing, I could take it off your hands for a fee. But otherwise, I could see you tomorrow as well. Sort of leans in. <laughs> Everything that is sold from this shop is curated for its buyer. I don't have anything offhand. Understand? It's a very solid business <clears throat> practice. Nothing. You're gonna have a beautiful bag of holding tomorrow. The question is, do you want it to be to your aesthetic? To his. What's the young lady? Oh, the young, the lady. Mm, yes, no. I know. Mean, it's okay. But you don't look. It's confusing. So. Understand? I, so. I, if I may, uh, go ahead. Uh, I would say <laughs> probably out of everyone in this traveling party, uh, a precious item such as that. Uh, would probably do well with me holding it. Obviously, I'm not going to. Make it look at my, like me. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I go, no, no. Uh, maybe, maybe we might consider something. I'm literally always awake. Something anti fashionable. That makes it look ordinary. So, fa <laughs> so fashionably marvelous, it doesn't look like something anybody would wear. You know what I'm saying? Are you familiar with the, the Nordic work of uh, Mythfrost? No. The aesthetic of Mythfrost. Breeze and Gaman especially. I mean, that would say they have an aesthetic. That, but sure. I'm <clears throat> familiar with the people. Well, and certain. Like, he'll point to some of the filigree on the armor and stuff like that. Just Nordic looking. Oh, and with that as well. Um, and he'll, like, the middle of his palm the plate will like slide apart and it'll light up the brand of forgiveness just do you work in uh making like a i don't know a, a brooch or a clasp to hold the cloak together could i get something in a design like this oh <gasps> yes <laughs> if it is truly a custom piece i want it to absolutely reflect she, she pulls out this, my <clears throat> she pulls this piece of leather and as you're holding it up, she just goes like, almost like a high five. <laughs> <laughs> and she pulls it away, it like sizzles into that, that, you know, all the like squiggly lines mm -hmm. of the brand of forgiveness. She says, oh, it's going to be great. I must get to work. Um, I will say fine, make it look as Mellorcroft might desire. He most likely would be the one holding it anyways. Who's going to steal from this big oh. hunk of metal? <laughs> no one. <laughs> I'd just like to say it would have looked good in red and reversible blue the whole town exactly. said it would have looked good in red it was like all those little stuff to get squishy squishy one will have a smiley face and a frown uh -huh. face sorry you're good a squishy yeah. face of holding yeah squishy. when it's angry face it's because it's so we have nothing you know? yeah. oh it's all out it's, it's all out it's all out it's out yeah it's like <laughs> <laughs> can we have it custom made to do that please <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I hope you have a great rest of your day. <laughs> and yours will. Well, obviously, whatever the cost is needed, I'll do so. It would be helpful for Whatever cost? I wouldn't say whatever cost. I'll take any sort of friendly discounts and return business as usual. I mean, whatever you can provide. Current things the way they are, I understand, even if a certain upcharge happens. 20, 25 gold pieces. Unbelievably pricey. 25 gold pieces is fine. <laughs> See you tomorrow. For that price, can we get two? <laughs> <laughs> Can you make one with red and blue? And, <laughs> and one side is a smiley face. Oh, okay, now that we're here. <laughs> I will say the price could be done, but the timeline cannot. Uh, I, could do, hours I could do the cloak and one bag by tomorrow. If you needed two bags, it would. that's an extra day of enchanting. The cloak no, doesn't we, need to be enchanted, so that would require an extra day. The, the, one, the one bag is fine. Either that or we find her in the Feel free to come back for more. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we can do that. You know yeah. what? Yeah. It's a fun need. Yeah, I know you. I believe our friends might be waiting for us, but we'll certainly we'll certainly come back for tomorrow, hopefully if we're not out of town. And before I go, one last thing. Oh, one last thing. The the most two biggest talkers. The most important. Yeah, I know. The most important thing in my life is the goddess Freya, and I just want that to be reflected in the uh, in the, in the cloak, uh, just to a degree, whatever. I this the color of her robes and stuff. Like that. I'll leave you to your work. I trust you. How long have you been a follower of Freya? Oh, let's see. Uh, Do you still count the years where you were dead? Uh, I was only dead for seconds. <laughs> I think you think, you think our friends may be dead outside for us to come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how long would that be? Uh, 50, 49, 50 years? They're just picking up a package, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. We need to go get lunch or something? Do you? And why do we feel bad? <laughs> I feel like punching something. I don't... <laughs> um, I also am a follower. Ah, uh, you know the good word. Come back tomorrow. We'll take care of you. Absolutely. All right, let's go now. I think our friends are waiting for us. You guys look at Cornelius as he walks out and just like, you know, like, like shaking his shoulders so the cape swooshes oh a little God. bit. He, he comes out with a cape. I, he comes in with a cape. I come without one. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the moment we crossed the threshold, I would have been like, how the hell did we go in there to pick something up? And we ended up buying two things for you. <laughs> no wonder it took so well, long. Technically, yeah. I think you own one of the things. It would just be harder to get it from me. That's true. And also, I know good words, too. Not just her. I'm talking about <laughs> the good word. Oh. I know bush good words. words. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> what, what did you buy? Why is it four hours later? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has it really been that long? I found out it's fun when you're shopping. I, it? I found out that Misha is also a follower of Freya, and that does my... Uh, Hard, uh, good. And I am. I'm glad to hear about that. That was just a snippet of the conversation. Don't let him fool you. I what did you buy? Hope. I well, want to buy things. We, we, I commissioned a bag of holdings. That way, we had something to, oh, to hold in our put all of his stuff. And uh, he got something with his cape. Of I commissioned a, uh, a a more befitting cloak. Oh. And we got this. That's why you're naked. <laughs> lovely item. I. Don't know if I'm capable of being naked. All right, I'm the only one impressed. Come on, you're going to pull me. Like, no, no, are you okay? Your, your shoulders are cold. Can you be naked? Is that? <laughs> it's actually real sick. No? <laughs> that was communication. It's fireproof. <laughs> she tested it. That's also what took so long. <laughs> Sounds like a series of events. I'd like to note he didn't let me test it. Mm. He had to have the other lady do it. Mm. I'm quite, you know, adequate. Well, it's because we were in a hurry. Let's. <laughs> Four hours! <laughs> <laughs> you see, they were waiting too long. If we had tested it with your fire, it would have been the same. You see, Cal lost his buzz while you were yeah. <laughs> It's been like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's still a long time. That's a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> All right, I'll, my apologies. My shopping here is done, but we, if we come back tomorrow, we get his cape and the bag of holding. One of us in, is going to go in there. If and we're still in town. <laughs> <laughs> but 
to the library again. Yeah. Oh yes, library. that was what we were doing today. Mm-hmm. Any stables on the way to the library by chance? Any stables? You to see if it's for a horses? printer? What do you say? No. <laughs> stables. Stables. <laughs> stables. Not Mitch. <laughs> Midge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, Rich. <laughs> No. Okay, so maybe, maybe on the outskirts of town. They wouldn't have it stables in the middle of the right. town. Right. Mm-hmm. What else he likes to get in the middle of town, too? Probably on automatic cars. Yeah, the horses over. probably want areas to like free roam and graze, so mm-hmm. okay. not going to be in town. Time to go to the library. So, All right, library. So library. The library in the- Are you going to shop oh. you guys want to do? No. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye out for a, like for a blacksmith or an armorsmith specifically, but I'm probably going to inquire. I want to start breaking the horse Let's go to the library. Yeah. And exhibit A and recklessness. After, after leaving Nisha's and walking up the road a bit, you see a couple of the militant in that rose gold, and they look and see you, and you see them start to trot you away. Oh, One of them stays behind it at their location where they were, the other one approaches. I sh- I'm gonna whisper, I should have changed into my armor. I don't wanna stand behind I'm the big guy that came Me too. I'm, I'm gonna put mine up as soon as I see. Very We're gonna turn halfway <laughs> behind <laughs> <laughs> Nari's just oblivious. She's just like, this is just fine. fine. I love how everyone good do things to hide behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of the big There's just one of you, I could have yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys walk. I, I mean, are you walking to meet him, or are you staying still? Yes, walking yeah, ahead. Ahead. I'm just walking. I'm just walking yes. in our path. Yeah. Just yeah. I will say so there is no us. one else on the streets, so there's no. It's impossible to be inconspicuous when there's no one yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I across making no up. effort to avoid him. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna I mean, keep walking. They come up. Until okay. they stop. He yeah. Go where we're going. Okay. Um, well, then in a few moments he will catch up to where you are. Mm-hmm. Um, and the gentleman sort of waves waves you down to halt you, and uh, you see him kind of turn his horse sideways to sort of block your path. He says, "Excuse me, what about you headed?" You excused, man. This is not the time. Uh, and he'll pull out the insignia, uh, Lord Keeper de Nevelstadt, Um I. Know that this is a time of crisis. Obviously, I belong to a group that is invested in preventing things like this from happening. I was wondering if I could speak to my associate at the keep and perhaps uh, look over some records in the library that may help me make sense of what all is going on right now. Keep shut down, sir. Entirely? You could probably get in, but not these folks. Oh, yeah. Keep is shut down. Can't be trusted. Just an attack on the state. You know that. I feel like it may be worth. I I if I am granted entrance, I only need access to the library and a brief conversation with my colleague. I I won't be. I you may supervise me. I'm not going to wander about the keep. What about the rest of you? Where are you going? We were with him. Are with him. Guess Why do you need all of them to go to the library? Uh, these are my compatriots, and we all have questions that we need to be answered. If we can perhaps make a list of things that I can look into while I'm there, uh, I don't know if we're going to have an easy time getting everyone inside. I, I'm more than happy to take the rest of the people Pick and one. go back down. Does he have a rank? Pick one. one? The one what? talking? Like... I don't remember if the elder militant has like a rank. So shows the rank is armor. displayed by their armor. Okay. So it's not like an insignia worn. It's like a different set of armor. This rose colored is usually like the. They're not. They're not nobodies, right? They're not just like any foot soldier thrown into yeah. battle. They're usually ones that are like. A little bit more like fuck around and find out. Okay. Um, like a lieutenant kind of thing, or sort of without leadership qualities. So they're not. They don't. They don't have. Uh, they don't have service. command. Yeah, they're, they're just like they're like the rose gold. Like are pretty well known around here. Like you poke the bear, you don't get bit. Type of yeah. person. So they they aren't high ranking, but they are highly efficient. 
Mm. Um, sort of like secret ser- special services, things like that type of thing. Special I never forces. made it to Rose Gold level, no. right? Okay, that's mm. what I That was your goal. I'd imagine that was one of your goals because yes. you didn't want to. You didn't want to lead a group. You just wanted to get in and fuck shit up. So yeah. <laughs> uh, another problem turn to the group. Is anyone here a gifted calligrapher? Um, I can read the languages. I know how to write if that's what you're asking. That yeah, I read in school. I don't. And I can. Can anyone else read every language? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt that for a second. Um, do we? Or was that Levi or the Roman? No, that was the soldier. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my I don't. I don't know if Levi can or not. Um, <laughs> so, crazy. It may behoove us to have you there to be able to read what I cannot. And also the, you know. Uh, the what? <laughs> I'm smart. I could help. Hmm. If he doesn't. Uh, how many? Help. How many? Level ten are there around us? Around us, right? Just the one. There's just the one guy and the other one who's farther up the road. Who they were stationed together. They saw you both. He stayed okay. there. This yeah. guy came up to address. Um, he says, "I'm sure you understand. There's been an attack on the capital. There's been an attack here as well. There's an attack at Punta Terra. A second attack." He like leans over. Excuse me. Is there? there was, Hi. There was a second attack. Hi. What? We are on lockdown right now. We don't know if there will be more attacks. I need you to go back to your homes. Two of you, you yes. come with me to the capital, Lord Keeper. But only for a few hours. Understood. We will you be will not be able. You will not be permitted after night time. If I can even get you in. Understood. Um, Is Calatonia and Kira safe? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Is Calatonia and Kira? <laughs> She's there, say. What concern of that is you, resident? Cal? Concerned citizen. Looks like it is a partner. That is no concern of yours. I can't I'll see what I can learn. Yes. Is there anywhere open to eat? I'm quite starving. Your own home would be a great place to eat. <laughs> Imagine all of the things in the under. You don't have why food. Don't, um, why don't we proceed <laughs> back to HQ and we will figure out. To Feria, Millicroft will reach and pull out a pouch that has 100, of, 100 gold, that's hers, that yeah. she refused to take. And he'll hand it to just, just, I, I just feed her. I'll hand it to Orny. Just feed her. I'll take care whatever, of it. Yeah, whatever. Just, yeah. Are you cheating? <laughs> How much food you could buy? I, I watched her walk the streets yesterday. I know she needed to eat. You know how much food you could buy with a hundred gold pieces? <laughs> just feed her. Well, it's her funds, but she, she is one to stay You know how many buffets of loonies you could have, yeah. like with a hundred gold pieces? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where is you could buy a gold pieces. We're going to go to the HQ. Yeah. You meet us thereafter. Okay. You know the route. You know the route. Follow him. Stay with him. He knows their route. Okay. All right. The rest of us need to go. Come on. Where I go? I'll write down something. For yeah, you please. Know. If any of you have anything that you would like for me to look into specifically, write it down for me. Okay. 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 I'm gonna write it down. The illness that killed my mother. Mm-hmm. How she contradicted if she was here and telling my phone in. <laughs> Jesus. See if you can get the rest. <laughs> You're making me. Can you say your name? I have to look. I have See to look. See if you can get the rest. Yeah, that oh. lamb rat I had yesterday. It was quite an issue. Oh, oh, not here. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna look into that. Thank you. Good okay. yes. folks. It's quite important. I get it. Okay. Well, you tell her about your name. Your name is big. I'll write it down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wrote it down for you. There you go. Oh yeah, because we have like seven names. Actually, they just keep going. As you read it, there's like new ones that develop. <laughs> uh, she gets a new title every day. <laughs> it feels that way. Don't worry, should I promise my next character one syllable? Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. Hey, you know what? what? Oh. I did the same thing. I'm doing Jonathan, man. Jonathan. 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 So good. Okay, well, if that, uh, this is all we need, um, I will look into the things we've discussed this morning. Great. Okay. 
Recipe. Let's go. Don't Come forget on. the lamb recipe. I won't. Thank you. I imagine there's plenty of food in the underdog for you. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll figure it out. I've never had all this seasoning before. We'll go it's the quite after, wonderful. The afterthought right down food. We'll go there and get you some food. The seasoning <laughs> comes with money. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, we're, I'm going down. with them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll start to follow. Try the sure. lamb. After you. The rest of you, please, go home. Understood. Let's we don't go. want to make this authoritative, but please don't let us catch you out again. If you're with a law keeper, we feel inclined to trust you, but not all militant members know you were with a law keeper, and now you do not have him. Be home. Don't make yourself a problem. Understood? Yes, absolutely. We're, got, we're leaving we that come back hey, out. Hey, we gotta go. Come on. Yeah, this, it is on me if y'all are caught roaming the streets. Mm-hmm. And I've won. We are headed right back right now. Appreciate it. I have so Perfect. many questions. Yeah. He'll get them answered, I promise, but we have to go. We all have questions. Yeah. It's very philosophical. Well, I don't know how many of your brothers and sisters were killed today, but... For us, we're not about to not about to find any more. We didn't know there was a second attack until today. Otherwise, we would have questioned coming Just out. Go home. I. Right. You two come with me. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Here we go. Follow. And <laughs> the horse goes. <laughs> um, you guys follow along. Isadora <laughs> skittering behind uh, one crop. So excited. Uh. <laughs> I get to go to the capital. <laughs> um. <laughs> I've never been before. I've never been across a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> um, and at this spot, we'll take a quick break uh, for Adam's <laughs> birthday. Have some cake. Word to the We're being sent home. We're still studying on fucking spring break. All right. We're not. <laughs> Over. You guys are bringing really, everybody back to the. Under- yeah, you guys are trying so hard to be nervous. Our DM is making us not do anything. <laughs> well, there's stuff to do. <laughs> um, one of those things to do is to go to the library, which uh, Melacroft and Isadora are currently permitted to do. Um, so you guys are following along this soldier um, taking you to the front of the keep. Whereas you guys get closer, you see a much larger military presence, um, like blockades worth of soldiers standing on point at horseback with <clears throat> different we- weapons and ballista, like on point around the capital. Um, as you guys walk forward, uh, you're granted access inside the castle and escorted by the same soldier yes. all the way up. Uh, the rest of you, after you leave, um, top side. Yeah, I guess. What What do you do? Do you go back to the other side? What is your What is your plan for the rest of the Thought to get her some food. <laughs> we haven't had breakfast. <laughs> I don't require much, but sustenance is one of them. <laughs> I, mean, I, I am an that, animal, okay? That doesn't seem unfair. <laughs> huh? I said that doesn't seem unfair. No. I just assumed, like, people down here carrying on business as long as they're not like to me. Yeah, it's not as... Sorry. Claustrophobic down here. Yeah. No one's, no one's like, scared of everything. I have to see what's like, in tech. Okay. About. I'm very curious about that. Is there anybody watching us? As we come back down? Sure. No. Is anybody following us as we come back <laughs> to the other city? It's like a couple hundred people, but like no one specific. <laughs> no, no, you don't. I mean, who who do you think would be leading the way? Faria, probably. Oh, yeah. right? So who would be lagging behind? Hana, Callan. So make a perception check or investigation if you're looking for someone specific. Yeah, just seeing if anyone's following us. Yeah, like, lead the way to food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read. Mouth sounds at your lose. Yeah. Fifteen. You don't 
don't see anybody behind you. Right. Good job. Good job. You never know. But you do means. notice as you enter into the cavern that there's a few eyes on you guys. Um, but anybody we recognize? Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Everyone seems to. Whenever someone comes through the portal, we simply look up, see what's up. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we head to the afterthought and. I'm not talking to you guys. You guys nope. are here. We're not here. Um, yeah, let's go to the afterthought. Let's get you some food yeah, and right. go from there. Yeah. So we'll head straight there. Yeah. We just walked in. To the afterthought? I thought yeah. that's what you said, yeah. Yep, it's busy. Um, party, party. Lots of people want to drink party. their problems away. At 9 um, o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's it, by this time, it's probably a little bit closer to midday, right? Like, you guys have got it's a little bit topside. Mm-hmm. It's been a, you know, longer than expected. At the, Four hours at the later. Yeah. I'd say it's probably closer to, like, 11 or 12, so, you know, maybe a late brunch beer. Um, but, yeah, there's lots of people here. Um, food, beverage, yep. entertainment. It's a place to be. Let's just go know. ahead and get a table, and we'll just... You didn't have to say that twice. (laughs) Great. Um, I'm also going to scan and see if uh, Lawrence is here. Mm. Make a uh, investigation check. Who? Lawrence Lawless. Is my own boy Nicker here? That's a 14. 14? You don't see Lawrence Lawless. Okay. Who's that again? He's like the mayor of the Undercity. Um. Icker, 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 Icker. Um, oh, yes. He's just hanging out, showing her last time. Is he so sad? Thinking that you're not no. friends. Aww. You broke his little heart. You don't right? see him. Uh-oh. You don't see him. Well, then I will just passively listen while we're hanging out at the bar or wherever we said if anybody has any information on the second explosion. Assuming we'll mm-hmm. order some food. The second explosion? Mm-hmm. Second explosion. Yeah. Second. Something. Something violent. Did you hear about the thing that happened to the I don't mean no. Would you ask me to go around asking about the you believe it? No. Uh, no. We have, yeah, we have sure eyes on us about mm-hmm. asking It's probably really quite a shame that it happened when it's early in the day. We have 17 heads in the day. Good looking ones, too. They do twice, too, do you? Sorry, we're done. Um... <laughs> I didn't say it. What were you asking? We're all just trying to passively listen for the second explosion. Yeah, stuff. second explosion stuff. Um, and then I do want to keep an eye out for Lawrence, um, just in case he walks in the bar. Okay. Anyone else doing Fine. anything specific in here? Uh, besides just it. eating? Just eating and drinking. And if Icar ever shows up, I'll do a talk. I will I do. I'll say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, <clears throat> while you guys okay. settle into the afterthought, yeah. Um, yeah. But we all moving in. Back at the library, or in the key. Mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. Melacroft, who was just here um, two days ago, you. Um, you get a very different feeling from the inside of this keep. There's what you would imagine just on first glance, triple, quadruple, the amount of security and guard um, <clears throat> places on an absolute lockdown. Um, every single door has two station guards in front of it. Um, every hallway Every entrance and exit, windows, someone is stationed guarding. And you still see that orb around the city from the inside. Or, not the city, around the island of the keep. Yeah. Um, The soldier is now on foot, right? He's not on horseback anymore, but he's uh, walking you to uh, Charlene, uh, to her, to her like residence. Okay. Uh, There you go. 
Um, as you get up to the to the door and knock, um, the soldier says to uh, says to you, Melicroft, um I don't I don't think you need me here. Mm-hmm. I don't think you need me here for this. Do you? Uh, not at the moment. No, I, for my audience with Shalane, no. But uh, I'll I, wait outside of the door. Understood. And as he says that, the door creaks open, and you see your old friend, and she kind of peeks out, sees it's you, and just like pulls you inside the room quickly. <clears throat> and as you, I'm here too. Yeah, as you both enter, yeah. the soldier closes the door behind. <laughs> you hear <laughs> with the door latching behind. She says, "What are you doing here?" Well, we're trying to gather information about a number of things. Uh, mainly, we saw the ship fall out of the sky, or uh, disappear is a better way to put it. Uh, and we heard today uh, that there was a second attack, and uh, we're, we're here to gather information. We're going to be going to the library after we're finished speaking with you. Uh, do you have any idea what's going on here at the keep? I, we didn't know about a second attack. <clears throat> Firstly, um, I'm glad you're safe. I'm glad you are as well. Um, I don't believe I've met you, mm-hmm. young lady. Um, my name's Ch- Charlene. Um, he has talked a lot of positive things about you. My name is Isadora, and Melikroft is my friend. <laughs> clank, clank, clank. <laughs> <laughs> Clank, clank. Yeah. Um, my name is Charlene Arcus. I am a lore keeper stationed here in the keep. Very nice. As I'm sure, Me- Melicroft, it's going to be hard to remember this. It's fine. <clears throat> As I'm sure Melicroft has told you, I'm responsible for knowledge within the keep. So when things happen that I don't know about, as you can imagine, it's chaos within this area. Mm-hmm. I know all about that. So tell me what you know, please, because I am losing my mind up here. Well, uh, from what we've seen, and feel free to interject, mm-hmm. um, we were visiting Mason's Row yesterday. Uh, and Nari, uh, turns out that her sister was the founder of that <coughs> section of the city. Um, While we were there, uh, her reconnecting with her people, uh, we saw the ship entering uh, the sky of the city of Redboro, and then we saw it list from the air and a massive explosion, the purple smoke. Uh, We went to investigate. We we were able to get a ship. Dove and and they walked there, but there was no sign of a ship. It was completely gone, and from the reports of my uh, compatriots, um, the smoke was shimmering in such a way that uh, it was almost as if daylight was shining through it. The image was slightly different. Um, one of our traveling companions, uh, Cornelius, had seen a similar type of explosion being worked on by his parents in Hartmore. So he had he recognized the smoke uh, not much more than that though didn't didn't we have someone that identified the, the type of magic from the smoke mm-hmm. yes oh yes <clears throat> it was uh dunamancy, dunamancy in mm-hmm. nature yes which i don't want to make a giant leap here but i've had the the evening to meditate on it and I'm wondering if it's not where the ship has gone, uh, but maybe when. I mean, it took me some time to even reach that. I, I don't know. I will say that ship held just under 300 souls. So I would sure hope that they made it out okay. <clears throat> well, one of which was the first lord. That's why we're here. What have you heard about the First Lord's safety? 
Well, um, we have been made aware of a uh, a group, uh, one of which by the name of the Astral Brotherhood, and I believe they're working in connection with. He's not going to say Noxus Society out loud. He's going to write it down and slide it to her. Mm. We have a feeling this group might be connected with what's going on here. She, like, you begin to slide it over and she just looks at it for a moment and just pushes it back to you. <clears throat> We've heard that name mentioned to us more than once over the past 24 hours. I see. What is your next plan? We are debating if we want to journey to Hartmore to potentially contact some of uh, Cornelius' family members to maybe Sorry. learn more about the nature of the explosion or... It's, it's another one of our companions. The one who recognized that his parents had worked on something similar to the explosion we saw. Which, by the way, we didn't find any wreckage of the ship. Uh, I. Went to the very depths of the lake myself. I was on the bottom of the lake. I saw no wreckage, no nothing, only the smoke. While you guys are talking, I'm going to take that piece of paper uh, that had Noxus Society on it and uh, do press to digitation and like light it on fire. So it just. She's like, um, <clears throat> as you're as you're saying, like you don't find anything. You see her sort of nodding along. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Um, I don't know if it's wise for you to travel to Hartmore for this. Well, Not that it's ill-advised, but I feel like there's... I feel like going to Hartmore would... would not solve the problem you're trying to solve, which is who is a part of this group? who would want this to happen? I think I have an idea. If it uh, concerns someone that you and I had the pleasure of encountering the other day... Um, I think it just might. That thought had crossed my mind. Where have you gotten with that? Um, I'm going to send... Shalane. Shalane, sorry. It's such a hard name. I know. Shalane. Uh, I'm going to send her a Charlene. message. I'm going to um, mm-hmm. send her a message mm-hmm. and uh, basically say, like, if you feel more comfortable saying it through a message, I can then communicate that to Dene uh, later. If, if you don't feel safe to say it out loud. <clears throat> I send her a message. My safety is not a concern. Um, what I worry is that some information is dangerous, spoken or unspoken. If there has been an attempt on the First Lord, and those responsible are who we expect, or even who we suspect, Mm -hmm. leaving right now cannot help. Do you yeah. feel like it would make us look suspicious? Unlikely. Are you a suspect currently? I don't think so. As long as you haven't made any sort of suspicious activity since the events. Mm-hmm. No, we're just trying to... I... You haven't told anyone about it, right? No. Mm-hmm. You were the first person outside of the core group that this information has even made it to. We we had spoken to Shark in the Undercity and he is the one that informed us of uh, the and he'll gesture to the where he had slid the you know, He's the one that let us know about that specific entity and uh, he in the nicest way that Shark is capable uh, asked us uh, not to be uh, darkening his doorstep of any talk of that uh, any longer. 
I believe we've reached uh, <clears throat> the end of our thread as far as uh, patience with this kind of talk with a uh, shark. <laughs> Who doesn't know? Shark. <laughs> what a what a character, huh? Indeed. For a man that doesn't know anything, he is surprisingly resourceful. No, well, he knows quite a bit. <laughs> He's um. He hasn't always been called Shark, has he? I would assume not, but I've only ever known him by that name. Hmm. Does he have a different name? Make a persuasion chart. Persuasion. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It got real dark. It's about to storm. Yeah. It, it was raining a little bit. Just mm-hmm. uh, dirty 20. It is. Well, before he was named Shark, he was um, called Peter. Peter? Did they have a surname or was it just Peter? Well, kind of like how there's just Shark. Peter Teleri. Teleri. I'm just saying if there's a place that <laughs> doesn't ring any bells. Why did he change his name to Shark? I just met him. Don't know much about him. Do you know anything about the Telerians? I don't. I, I don't <clears throat> think so. Hmm. Would I? Do I? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if I would. Please. They're one of the one of the families. That's They're what I thought. Of yeah. Frost. Oh, and Mythrust? Okay, now we're They're the closest allies and kinsmen of the Shazera family. Okay. Oh. Do you know the Talaris? Uh, well, if they're prominent Mythrost, then, uh, yeah, they're uh, one of the powerful families of Mythrost. Or the, the power. They're the lords. They're, they're li- just like the, the lords Shazera family. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The lords of Redborough. They're the lords of Mythrost. Lords of Mythrost. Uh, where I called home for many years. Yes, sir. What brought him here? Well, I mean, would he... Is he in hiding, or...? Yeah. <clears throat> you know how it is. There's sometimes... There's, um, sometimes there's disagreements within the family if you don't fit what they want you to, to be. Hmm. <clears throat> but I, um... From what I know about Shark, he's a straight shooter. I don't think he's from what I know his family ties are just that ties that can be undone. I don't think he's directly tied to the Teleri family anymore. Which is likely why he changed his name. Understood. But this has been decades. He's been in the Undercity for almost as long as I've been a law keeper. Um, he recently <clears throat> has uh, been in contact with some people from the Astral Brotherhood who has, as far as I can tell, um, I, I have encountered an individual uh, in my journey given to me by Freya in the new situation I find myself in. Um, I ran into somebody that I tussled with a while back who gave us some information regarding the Astral Brotherhood's potential ties to the uh, entity. Mm. And I, given some of the things I've heard about, you know, that uh, society, that um, they tend to do things exactly like why we're here at this moment. Mm. <clears throat> I tried to overthrow the government. Yes. Tricky. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. How do you stop a plan that's been in motion for who knows how long? And how do we know this was the end point? What if there's more attacks planned? What if there's... What if this was just a distraction to something else? Do we know of any other attacks in any other part of Eudora? From what I heard, 
there was the ship, and there was a small insurgence in Punta Terra that was taken care of. <clears throat> But you know what? You know the Astral Brotherhood? Yes. You know they are borderline obsessed with someone that you also, I may call, obs be obsessed with. Right. Yes, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned, but that's why I am the way I am today. It's because of their handiwork. They made you a robot. They killed me, and Freya brought me back to uh, find them and forgive them. It does make a bit more sense. <laughs> it is... <laughs> it is a personal matter to seek them out and to do what I need to do, but... <laughs> Since they seem to be connected to a larger scheme here, it appears, uh, I feel like tracking them down and finding out what they're up to would be in the interest of uh, Thaldrin in, in its entirety. Do, do we know who they are obsessed with? Freya. Freya. <clears throat> but to, I my know. Knowledge, to my knowledge, Freya has the key to her... She's the the final gate, if you will, to protect this particular world. Ugh. So tricky. In what way? Once I find my notes, I will be happy to tell <laughs> <laughs> So tricky. Why do I have you to should have a better system of all <laughs> It's really tricky. Why is there so many notes? <laughs> Probably a heck of a lot less if we just had shorter names. Sorry, here you Guess we didn't know where, uh, where in Punitaria that attack happened. Because this is a general. Good Punitaria. Yeah, we don't know. Unless they ask. No. Ah. Okay. Ever, I mean, yeah, Evermere is the capital, so. I didn't know if she's the capital. As far as I know, the Astral Brotherhood believe that Freya is the strongest defense against foreign threats. What are these threats? Well, that's a, that's a good question. We don't quite know. Did you, uh, me did you, um, did you say foreign or yeah. for? Four in? in. Okay. Four in. Like an outsider. Okay. An outsider. Threats. Four in threats, three out. <laughs> As in, she's protecting this plane of existence or this specific land? I believe this world. I believe all of Alta. Oh. I mean, it's centuries back, there were many gods to protect. But, it seems things have changed a little bit. Well, especially with the uh, uh, lack of faith uh, in the world today. Um, do you do you know uh, anything about their dealings or what they've in your reports of anything they've been doing as of late? Because I believe that they've well, I'm sure that they're the ones who took uh, the dyad from the fame in the Undercity. Uh, I I have been told as such by someone whom I've forgiven in the name of Freya uh, that they're working with the society and I I need to know if we need to start with the Astral Brotherhood or if we should I don't know uh, look into the larger entity which I've been told is a terrible idea absolutely terrible idea <laughs> <laughs> it's one of it's, it's one of these situations where the more you dig, the more you bury yourself. Hmm. That sounds a lot like what a uh, shark was saying. Well, 
I don't see why you can't look into it without causing too many ripples. I don't, I don't want to request this of you, Danae. Especially with your history, but there has been reports of a fame. The, the fame? A fame. A fame. Where at? This is why it's different. These reports come from a different plane of existence. Huh. Maybe chill. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what plane of existence would this be? If it's accurate, there may be relics of a fane of Freya in the Feywild. She's so excited. Is that Isadora or Mandy? Both. <laughs> I know that place. But it's a dangerous place. Think, 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 and think. scientifically, definitively, doesn't add up. I'm not sure if the sources are reliable, but if this is true, I foresee that the Astral Brotherhood would have also heard these rumors. Mm. And if Freya's fanes are so important to them, for whatever reason, they may also... Seek it out. Seek it out. Well, it appears to me that the immediate step is to try and intervene with the Astral Brotherhood and see what information we can get from them. The problem is you're being watched. I would have assumed that from the start. By the Astro Brotherhood? Oh, I assume from the other group mentioned. The scary one. I don't know if it's safe for... for all of you. I would assume it's not safe, or we wouldn't have been... I don't know. We wouldn't have been thrust into this situation otherwise, but... I know that I've been called by Freya to... Uh, defend her faith and to forgive the people that have transgressed against it. And if that includes this aforementioned society, then I will do what I need to do uh, to find them and show them the error of their ways. Um, I also don't like the idea of them causing any destruction in the Feywild. Yeah, neither do I. I don't like them doing destruction anywhere, to be fair, but the Feywild is a bit more sacred to itself, so... And to me. You... And to Kehana. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You won't be able to leave here without being seen. Let's do this. And you see her walk to the wall. And she pushes, like, you hear, like, the, the, the floor and the concrete kind of creak as she pushes this shelf off to the side. And you see this, these symbols etched into the wall. And you recognize it as a teleportation circle as the wall lights up in this kind of oblong oval shape and you see her like trace it and as she does <coughs> you see through and there's this hazy bit of color and as your eyes focus Isadora you recognize the vibrant colors of the Feywild she says she squeals she says this water should put you close Search for the search for the fane on top of the mountain. Hello? On top of the mountain. Just us? You cannot leave this place without being seen. If they know that you are going, they will send more. Go now. Can you send word to our friends? Yes. I don't okay. see any other option at the moment. Tell um <laughs> tell when you when you give word to our people, tell Kehana to lead the way. 
That's I'm right. assuming they'll know what that means. Yes. Yes, they will. She was from the Feywild. That makes it easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. This will not hold for long. You must go. Okay. I'm going to uh, link, link arms with him and I'm going to run through. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to the to forget my book! <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you know. <laughs> oh, man. That's dope. Um, <laughs> my brother is a scholar. The rest of you. <laughs> Give me the last piece of meat, Cornelius! God damn it! <laughs> we must go. Yeah, well, I, I enjoy fish myself, but there was just so much of it, and I just couldn't help but... <laughs> Well, the rest of you are at the afterthought, after a few drinks and um, lots of food. 100 gold worth of food. Mm-hmm. So sure you 70 points piled in front of it. Actually, 99 gold, that was the last piece of food. <laughs> Cornelius saw the bar tab and was like, my word. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go for a walk. <laughs> after a few hours, you realize that Isadora and Malakroft have not returned. Um, and you remember hearing the soldier mention that you would only be permitted for a short period of time. I don't allowed to be out there after dark, so... Yeah. What time is it now? Dark. <laughs> well, it's dark to us. Yeah. All right. 6.51, yeah. what do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not much like the same. Uh, no, I know. 6.51 in October. <laughs> October. Uh, ooh, it's okay. dark. I don't know what I to mean, do. The most we can do is wait. You're the one that's got magic, or at least in the fire-throwing <laughs> variety. Do you have any way of talking to people at a distance, <laughs> other than shouting? <laughs> Fix it with magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give it a Why don't you talk to me with magic? <laughs> if I was what I used to be, maybe, but as of my current capabilities, no. I can shout. That doesn't have anyone. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. We may have to... If we don't hear from them soon, we may have to ask for some eyes from Shark. Do something. To go up there. I don't know how close we're going to get if they made it all the way in. We lost the person that's going to get us in. We're not going to get close at all. Yeah. I mean, me being a citizen might help, but he's probably just going to tell us to fuck right off again. Well, and quite frankly, we already sent a citizen in, and they're not back yet. We want to send another one in? (laughs) (laughs) To be fair, fair, it took me and Melacroft a little while to get something just... Clothing. It took you four hours to get packaged. That's fair. That's not you know how long what? it took you over exaggerating. That's a good point. Let's let's give them some faith. I mean, no confidence. <laughs> when, when you get high, <laughs> you seem to think time takes a lot longer than it does. <laughs> time is subjective, okay? Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> I'll start praying to air talk now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look around again. Is anybody like... What, since I was there for the Noxus Society original conversation. Anybody watching us or anybody looks suspicious? Not that it's been a few hours. I mean, there's a lot of people watching you. And almost everyone here looks a little suspicious. Mm-hmm. Um, like watching us? Like. <laughs> keep an eye on me. They seem to be keeping an eye on you. Who's they? You. Collective group of people here. Like wearing similar attire. Which all of you? As a child in the keep, was there any back exits? Like any way that I used to sneak out or like my mother could have shown me in case of emergencies that I just like any way that I could get to the library? The whole Tyrion Lannister built the sewer thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. The King's Keep, I, I think, especially now, everything would be on lockdown. Any of, any of those sort of secret tunnels you may have had, um, I mean, you can certainly go looking for them and maybe be able to discover, because I'm sure you did sneak out as a kid, but I think on a regular basis, you may be able to get in, but right now it may be overtly okay. difficult. But you're welcome to try. Or just see if I remember any. Yeah, I mean, there's there's ways that 
because it's sort of on an island. Mm -hmm. There's ways that you were able to get out and kind of swim. Um, But you would also have to swim across to get there. Yeah. I don't swim. And Anari doesn't swim. (laughs) Apparently. All we can do is wait (laughs) and then we get caught by the we both know that's not going to end well. No. You'll be killed for sure. Yeah. I probably will be killed. Yeah. I will run away while you guys are both you getting killed. You won't get away. <laughs> Thanks for that. Well, shall I die with you? So yeah. That's very noble of someone else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you shouldn't wait too long. I'm going to get up and go to the bar to get another drink. Okay. I want to see if the collective people watching us, if there's anybody that keeps focus on the group at the table or if anybody's tracking me. Does that make sense? Just while I'm going up, I'm going to like side off. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, I mean, they're, they don't have a hive mind. They're not like no, I know. watching yes. you and then all watching. Like, there's a few people that are like, and again, they're not staring. They're just like, they're. You know, having a drink, then every once in a while you see him kind of look back. Like, okay, so nothing. You, you notice them looking at, like, in your direction, sort of noticing you, but it doesn't seem like... Tracking. It's hard to tell It's hard to tell whether or not they're, like, looking for you. Okay. Or, like, tracking you, or if they're just, you know, like people do, kind of look around the room. Yeah. Someone stands seems, up, you just look for them. You don't know if yeah. you're just being yeah. paranoid because you know people are looking for you. <laughs> yeah. And it seems like everyone's looking at you. Okay. You don't know. Fair. All right. Well... But yeah, people look at you as you get up to the bar. Cool. You have a glowing face. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> You're so, glowing. Are you pregnant? You are glowing. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. That wasn't just fair. Let's hope Fairy's not pregnant. Yeah. Oh, God. That's a bigger problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this astral brotherhood. Astral motherhood. <laughs> 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 I don't know the limitations of Melacron, but I figure no matter what happens to that big man, I, he would most likely notify us, right? If he could. The only thing I think that would stop them from notifying is if somebody stopped them from notifying. Well, they would need like a mountain. <laughs> There's a mountain of militant over there, I promise you. Yeah. Well, if we go out in the dark, we can try to sneak around, but I mean, that's certainly risky. I just risky. don't think it's a good idea. I, I mean... I don't think it's a good idea. I don't like that idea. <laughs> Maybe we could find the... Uh, not now. Not at dark, because I don't think that would go well. But tomorrow, if we have not heard from them, maybe we can find the militant that escorted them and see if they got them there safely or if they know. But I don't know. Maybe we should... I mean, if shocks around, maybe we can pay them just to say, hey, you got a back entrance into the library? I'm we can try that too. Mm-hmm. Do you have any entrances into the castle? Nothing that wouldn't get us caught. And nothing that's not already on lockdown. Mm-hmm. As a child, you sneak out and you think, oh, I'm being sneaky, but let's be real, my mother knew where I was. So. And the only other person that can impersonate a militant is with Melacroft. <laughs> 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 I could walk around like a dick and armor too, but I don't know if that's the same thing. Uh, rude. Not you, a militant. Whoever you are. <laughs> a sudden vision. <laughs> Not you. But why is it so yellow and orange behind you? I think our only choice right now is to wait, regardless. So, well, let's get some sleep. We can wait on it. And yeah. See how it goes in the morning. So I guess we'll close up our tab. And... Did you get enough food? You full? I'm quite content. Thank you. Seventy plates later. Yeah. <laughs> Cornelius, some of the bill. Ninety-seven gold. Holy moly! I'll just round that off for the cost of your bag of money. You have it. Yeah. That was ninety-seven gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's not. It'd be like I'll pay whatever yeah, it is. Fifteen yeah. gold. You're fine. Yeah. Um, Luckily for you, it's cheap. I have my money. Yeah, I have your money. I'm your bank. <laughs> I can hold on to it if you want. Absolutely not. Yeah. No, don't mm-hmm. let him do that. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> you guys go back to HQ. Um, Anyone follow us? You go inside. Oh. And Shalane is there. 
The only person who recognizes this person is Anari. Yeah, I'm gonna like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, hello. Which one of you is Kehana? Uh, that maybe. one. <laughs> Long time no see. How are you? Do you know her? Yes. I saw her just the other day. Where? Who is it? No other context. Were you mean I saw her. I saw her. <laughs> <laughs> she was also feasting on turkey legs. <laughs> say, did you meet with her while we were moving tables? Huh? Where'd you see her? At the place. Oh my god. <laughs> what place? With Melcroft. The keep? Yes, that's one. <laughs> oh. My name is Charlene Argus, Lord Keeper. Oh. Your Melo Cross friend. Yes, like I said. That is also a way to describe me and my <laughs> accomplishments. She's the one in the room <laughs> when you gave up the dagger. Yes. Oh, great. Yeah. I was there when that happened. I just said all that. No, you didn't. didn't. You definitely didn't. <laughs> um, so you are, where is you are the group, huh? You are the friends? Yes. Is something wrong? Hmm. Depends. That's sketchy. A true friend of Melagroff would know he calls us compatriots. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> 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 Melcroft should be alright. Should. I can vouch this is for sure the lady. Where where is he? Yeah. He was supposed to no, I think go see you. He did. Oh yeah, he cool. did. Well, where's Melcroft though? And his Adora. Thank you. Yeah. He's Adora's who's who's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh I, I can't answer that because they haven't asked. Um, I just did. What did you ask? Where is Melancholy? And then he's a girl. Why did you say he should be okay? Well, I guess let me start from the start. Um, the start from the start. He came to me with questions about events that transpired today. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we don't, actually. We have no information about what happened today. We know about the ship. That would be exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we heard there was a second attack, but we don't have any information. No, that was nothing. That was squashed easily. Okay. Um, But to your point, there were two attacks. One on the ship of the First Lord and one at the capital in Quinaterra. The insurgents in Quinaterra was a feeble attempt at best. The ship seemed to be the real attack, the real focus. But... Speaking with Melacroft, he advised me that there are other elements in play with certain groups, such as the Astral Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with the Astral Brotherhood? Yes. Beautiful. And the Noxus Society. Yes. Are you familiar with them? As of recent, yes. What do you know about them? Only that they exist. Well, we know that they can. Cons- the they are a collective, a as far as we know. That yeah, you weren't there. Do I know? Uh, all we were told is that <clears throat> it's a collective that uh, works to choose who sits on the throne, <clears throat> and they choose outside of the norms. Yeah, one of the many things they do is succession, but. Uh, we'll say influence is what they provide Mm -hmm. regardless of consequence Mm -hmm. they're powerful members of certain families that we've all heard of but they are smart they don't leave a trail they don't There's no way to be sure who is and who is not a member of this society, mm-hmm. which has made them extremely effective in their influence. I'm all over the place, but the reason I sent Melacroft was that the Astral Brotherhood has been known to partner with 
that certain society in an attempt to achieve their greater goal, which I'm still trying to formulate, but it seems to be to take down, destroy, or limit the faith of Freya, mm -hmm. which the only reason that would make sense is if they are trying to bring someone or something else here, as Freya's defense of this world is strong. I believe they're trying to attack these, place of these places of worship. Destroy the relics, destroy the divine artifacts that hold within in an attempt to crush the divine link between the people of Alta, the people of Thaldrin, and the gods themselves. There was recent rumor of a new, well, newly found religious fane of Freya. Unfortunately, this was in the Feywild, a realm which is known for its danger and wonder. I've had reports that the eight of you have been being watched for some time. By who? I cannot share that. I, but I, I feel we. Oh, I'm sorry, resident. Are you entitled to that information? <laughs> Allow me to ask, as a citizen, if I'm being watched by whom? That is none of your concern. Well, I just, <laughs> Although you did say you sent Malacroft, and I'm assuming he's now in the Feywild, which Isadora's not here, so she's probably with him. So. Yes. Yes, the... The white one. <laughs> yeah. Her cape is not real. Did she... Was she I don't follow. <laughs> <laughs> we, um... I apologize for the <clears throat> urgency and confusion, but... Before they left, they told me to seek out a Kehana. Yeah. you? Yes. Your pale friend yeah. asked... That you lead the way. To the Feywilds. I'm assuming, as she kind of looks you up and down, you're familiar. I, I am. They should be towards the peak of a mountain in a religious fane of Freya. Mm. Or at least, at least I hope they found it. Where did they go? What? what city did they go to? I'm, I'm not familiar with cities in the Feywild. I, I have a portal that takes me through a forest, but if that had some sort of landmark or locale, I'd, I'm unaware. Are you able to present a portal such as that here? That would be convenient, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that that is why she asked me to reach out to you. Yeah. Yes. Are you familiar with where a portal could be? I, I came through a portal. Perfect. The only way that I can do this is in my office where I have a circle of teleportation. I do not believe I can get all of you in. Unfortunately, security is quite high. And the militant takes over in these things, and us knowledge-based individuals sort of get put as a lower priority. I apologize, I cannot give more information, but for the safety of myself and other members of, of my team, just know. Whatever you do, do it under the veil of secrecy. Be inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with your eye. Because there are those watching. But you can't tell us who. I think you know who, but I won't say. Oh. That makes sense. I just cannot confirm it, so I'm, 
I won't be caught speaking those words. Are you assuming the Noxus speak? <laughs> no, it's fine. Noxus. Can I ask you one question before so you depart? I don't know why Danae has partnered with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming every brain cell in the end of city is in this room at the moment. <laughs> is all the I members, want me. Is all the members of the Shazarian family <clears throat> kind of force, other than the First Lord? Politely, of course, why do you ask? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Concerned request from a distant family member. So you're telling me again? <laughs> I'm, I'm not a member of the military. I I have no say in safety or security. I just want to know if they're accountable. But I would advise as a member of As a thought leader of the community, I would advise during times of peril, when there was an attack on the king, the first elder, asking around if they are okay, can possibly look badly upon you as, as you inquire whether or not some things may have been successful. Do you read me? I understand that. So that is why I'm asking to please don't be vague when I ask politely, why are you asking if they are okay? I would like to know if my mother and sister are fine. Then yes, Callan, they are fine. Mm. I don't know if you have the answer to this, but um, who was leading the insurgents that was squashed in Punitera today? I do not know. Okay. I, I genuinely do not know. Mm-hmm. Again, I ask, and they say, Lord Keeper, will tell you when it's over. Okay. And then when it's over, they expect me to put all the pieces together. What? The rain. Oh, it's raining? Yeah. We're under a tall night to walk. Are we? Yeah. To 11 o'clock, yeah. Damn it. Yeah. It makes it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> All right, if the tornado hits, roll initiative. Give <laughs> <laughs> me in Texas, boys. <laughs> Can't hide it. Do you know how far away this portal is? How far away is it? Seven million miles. Uh, it's up in, in the mountains where it's... You guys, you guys sort of came, you came it's through it at the beginning of the campaign. <laughs> yeah. You were traveling after going through the portal at the beginning of the yeah. campaign. Is so it up near Hartmore? No. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't this is not me leading you in a direction I really don't care if you go to Hartmore but it is up there because that, that's where the mountains are yeah, uh, yeah. I thought it was to the to the west where the I mean because the mountains are more close to the coast was. Yeah, so the mountains are just, or like, I guess the forest. I it was over here. Yeah, no, the forest up above. So you guys went towards the mountains, which are to the left. You guys came through the forest of the white tail woods. Yes. So it's in that forest. So it would be uh, probably a two day walk, three day walk, mm-hmm. similar to getting to the mountains. Please don't die. Yeah, we'll try. Uh, Time's funny. It's in the forest of. I don't care what it is. Do you know where we get horses, boss? But he would know. Um, no. Yeah, white tail woods. Would there be a place to get horses in the Undercity? Probably not. I wouldn't think so. You got any staples down there? <laughs> staples. Not that. <laughs> well, we can print a copy over the corner. We have to go above ground, but we'll, we'll find somewhere. You need multicolor ink? <laughs> Specifically red and blue. Yeah, just red and blue. Red and blue. Maybe a little black. No sign. No sign. Yeah, no sign for you. No. No sign for you. (laughs) No sign. Um, Yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't imagine there's any staples down here. We'll we'll find something above ground. Get some horses and start heading that way. You can lead us to the portal? Aye. Okay. Remember when you used to have druids that could just pop in the horses? Trust me. 
Yeah. Yeah. Last night I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, just wanna, I just want to be a fucking druid again. <laughs> I just want to be a druid. It's nice to have magic. <laughs> I can watch I can what I want. Yeah. yeah, sorry, y'all. Low level. I can make a flame. <laughs> yeah. She's oh, seen like him with this trick. I, I, I can just see that. I can't make green dress. No, no. No, no. I can show her magicians. Yeah. She's a fortune. Yeah. You got here without anybody seeing her, I guess. Yeah. Well, let's, let's get go. on the faster. Yeah, we get if on. If I know it. anything about the, well, you know more about the Feywild than me, it yeah. can be dangerous, I would assume. We're going to have to be very <laughs> late, very, very <laughs> quiet and inconspicuous. Well, we can just take the exit outside the walls. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll go, that's true. Go outside from the walls and go try. Through. Yeah, let's do that because mm-hmm. our alternatives, the militant finding. Yes. No yeah. Yeah. The soul of Melacroft screaming through the void. Don't forget my club. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Were we supposed to pick up something? <laughs> nah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I just think before, before we leave, leave we'll be we need to wait a day <laughs> for a cloak and a bag of holding. I need a good night's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. That would be so useful. Morning? No, uh, probably more like tomorrow, you know, afternoon. I would guess roughly twenty-four hours. We can check in the morning. But we got it's, it's, it's. You said it's getting later in the evening. We it's best time is to go now. I could go uh, pick it up. That's as, true. I could go post, or first thing in the morning and try to pick it up with this. To get out from the militant in the middle of the night we'll would probably, probably be the best. Like we we'll do it in the middle of the day. Just, we just went huh? somewhere without y'all. I know. Oh, right. right. We don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Everyone might, knows. Don't split the party. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It wasn't red and blue. It didn't coordinate with me anyways. I didn't yeah. uh, we'll, we'll pick it up when we get back. Yes. You tell that to In a cross. year. <laughs> <laughs> One year later. Red Barrow gets bombed after the ship yeah. gone. Attacked by five chroma, chromatic red. I think it's best to leave now. We don't know what will happen to them That's as they're separated. <clears throat> I agree. Now, the question is, are we able to get horses in the middle? We can always just make it foot it to the next town. That's and true. Try to Something I don't really enjoy doing. Probably for the best anyway. We could always get farther away from. Yeah. Let's not make more of a commotion. Yeah, I don't want to. While the militant is so active. Yeah, last thing we need to do is give them something to be on edge with us. Considering it. Oh, so well, Shalane, I do appreciate you. You have Foxy to tell us. Not right now. Uh, where they went, so that we weren't fretting because we were quite worried. That they weren't back. Maybe Thomas. Sounds like him. It's because he's a very trustworthy. I want to spy kidneys out here. <laughs> I'd say so. Want to take a jetpack out? Yeah, I do. Is there anything else we need to know? <clears throat> um. You may want to know. That I believe, this is off the record, I believe a prominent member of one of the high families may have been responsible for these acts. Based off of that blade Mm -hmm. that that we received. So, please be careful. People who are capable of doing these things are capable of doing terrible things. They're willing to make an attack on the king. They will not think twice about wiping you off the earth. So, please do be careful. Bring Danae back. Yes, trust me. And his friend. (laughs) <laughs> we were very aware, or I was very aware of this person's capabilities long before this happened, so. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you again. Is she going to hang out here? Yes. Okay. Are you coming with? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. It's like this long pause she has where she's sort of squinting like I'm doing now yeah. <laughs> sort of looking looking over you all all right 
right then. And she turns and just walks out of the. She's memorizing us. What are you doing? Like that? <laughs> I'm gonna swim to her. <laughs> I wanna do an insight check. Like, what was that? Why was she just staring at us like that? You turned and left. You can do an insight check on what you saw. Last thing she hears is, "Great, she sends Melikoff to some place, and we have to retrieve him." <laughs> you see a coward moment. Like, that motherfucker bolts and dies. Well, make him an armor. <laughs> Good. Hold on. Twenty-one. Ooh. Whisper, whisper, whisper. She was looking. She seemed to be looking at you all inquisitively. Intriguing. And she's already gone. I mean, she turned and left the okay. door. I'm sure you could well, catch her if you had yeah, anything to ask. Okay. Well, I'll follow her. I'm gonna just quickly walk and say, was there, was there? A question you have for us? You seemed a bit confused there. So, you, is is there is there a question that you have? But you were looking at us like you wanted to ask something. No. Are you curious? Are you ready to go? Hey, let's go. Are you ready to go? Only Calvin's already walking out the door. Are you ready to go? I think we're ready to go. I let's just go. I. It seemed like there was something else there. You you paused. You watched us all for a minute. And then she does the same thing. What's <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ask me something? Boss, it's it's we, we don't, we don't. I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just needs glasses. <laughs> I'm just curious why you. Why me what? Why you, why her, why him, why all of you? Why, why anyone? Why anyone? Great question. What was the Okay. Why we were chosen. Chosen <laughs> by <laughs> Guys, visions, visions. This is the saddest game of game of hangman I've ever seen. <laughs> so two words. Uh, yeah. chosen for <laughs> just, I'm just curious why the blade chose you. Oh. I think we uh, made it choose us. Last I checked, we took out a contract. I don't think I have an option in that one. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make you can't make the Night Stalker blade do anything. Well, well, it seemed to take to us pretty quickly. So. Well, it called to you. How did you find it again? I don't think Danae told me how you found it. Don't worry. We're on our way out. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go get Minecraft. Let's go. All right. <laughs> you know, I guess it's a story for another time. <laughs> I guess it is. We'll talk when we come back. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Thank you again. She just like turns and watches you, like confused. I'm confused too. I but it's over in your home. <laughs> yeah, it's thoroughly confused. I want to go. Very is confused. Yeah. All right, go. We're, we're, we're leaving. We're walking. <laughs> How long has she been the lore ke- keeper for Shazera? About 60 years. Oh gosh. So I would have a recollection of it. She's so young. Mm-hmm. Was she, she ever like nice? Her. Yeah. No. Oh. She's not mean. No, she's not mean. This is mean to Callie. Wow, that's all it takes. Well, well yeah. Callie's sensey. Callie's sensey. I mean, Callum, she Callum has was a she, boy with a golden spoon for a very long time. She, she, she has reasons to dislike Callie. True. So am I. She also recognized my leg without asking who you were. That's very interesting. No, oh, yeah, she definitely knew who Cal was. She thinks the yeah, yeah. chose But she gave up that ruse for a second to have him admit who he was. Or something. You didn't yeah. like it. Yeah, she did. Yes, oh, she had a purse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they called it was. They didn't like me. It didn't. Maybe because of the back. It what? It didn't. It didn't like it in there. It wasn't nice and cozy. Another group. Oh, it called to you guys. Yeah. Was, was she ever close with my brother? Yeah. Was she ever close with my brother? Sure. Maybe. You want to turn around and ask? No, fuck no. Yeah. Well, you want to ask? She reminds me of home. Let's go. <laughs> she, she still just. That judging <laughs> stare she gave reminded me of home. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I got that from weird. nothing more. From that's else. Like, I'm just like, that was a weird interaction. She's kind of a lady. Never like, trusted the lore keepers. They always made me read. I felt like she was just. Like, a fellow lore keeper would have been like. It would have immediately identified us. Wait, these motherfuckers? That's the. 
All I ever did was read. Same. You had a very boring life. All I did was learn how to fight. That's That's right. I have an exciting life. She sure got into drugs, nerd. (laughs) (laughs) Look how much better my life is now. I'm not dead by any means. Both of our siblings are dead. Damn. (laughs) (laughs) This is why I don't conversate with you. I didn't have any siblings. Can't I got make. four. <laughs> but I got cousins. I had one. It was a three-day journey with you people. This is really exhausting. Listen, more. I've had to explain every social norm to you. I don't want to hear anything about exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> that was like there. <laughs> Okay. You're right. quite contradicting in y'all's habits. You can't blame me for asking. I just, it, you know, fair. <laughs> she enjoy your food provided to you by the society that we live in. She can't pay for it. You're holding on to the money, so I'm just mad as you Absolutely. Well, what are you, you all scurry Let's your go. way to the Vale. Scurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scurry your way. Scurry your way. Um, to the forward. outside walls, right? You're yeah. not trying to go inside? Yeah, no, okay. we're not trying to go inside. So you go to the outside wall. Um, by this point, it's kind of nighttime. Um, Nine? Like, we'll say, like, Nine. Nine. early Nine. evening, a little bit later and darker than it is out right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And. It's raining? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, if only you had a cape. Great. <laughs> that, I'm gonna pull the scarf up and just, like look and go. Oh. Huh? Does it have a hair? <laughs> no, it doesn't. My scarf buddy. You just want to wrap it up around me so that way it gets rain. Just my hair gets wet. I'm just gonna use my tails as like an umbrella. There you go. Carolyn can't let it. She turns joint. blue. <laughs> Honestly, if I'd seen yeah, that, it's just wet. I would have seen like what? No rain clothes. You haven't seen a change like four times. <laughs> <laughs> no rain clothes. <laughs> What? I didn't hear what you said. I honestly didn't hear. <laughs> I don't think anyone heard what you said. <laughs> when I'm done with you. Yeah. That's, that's all. It sounded threatening. That's all I need to know. That's what it is. Okay. Well, you keep it's walking. Okay. Sorry, I didn't. She's our waiter. Do we need to roll a stealth check for anything? Yeah. Yeah. Do we need to? So as you guys exit, I need There's all of you to roll. <laughs> yeah, I need all of you to roll stealth checks. Stealth checks. As to get to the main road, you have to pass. My little, my little granite one is doing so good today. I got a 24. Oh, right. uh, I'm not as confident in what I'm about to get here. <laughs> well, my stealth is a plus six, so. That's good. Nice. 18. Woo! We stealthing! Also got, also got 18. Yeah! Because yeah. we don't have no crop with us. I was going to say, <laughs> the biggest sink. Yeah. Ready for me to bring down this pity party? Or bring it into a pity it's party? Got, it's got your, uh, your tails out. That's not bad. I got a 12. Could be worse. 13. 13? His tape is too 18, dashing. 18, 20, 24. 24. Uh, it's right around me. Yeah. The, um, oh, it's windy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really yeah. Nice. yeah. yeah. Tornado watch. You never see yeah. the rain before. Well, well, if you're from Texas, you go outside and you can see the rain. Tornadoes. Huh? Like yesterday. It was really interesting. So, you guys scurry along the wall. You get to a point where you see the guards looking over the front gate, or that that northern gate where you originally tried to come in, but the guards didn't let you (laughs) uh, the first day you were here. Um, There's about six guards and a ballista mounted at that gate. Jesus. Um, You've gotten to this point undetected. To get where you need to be, there's a wood probably about 200 yards away. And then around at this, around this wall is, um, we are stealthy. I should, yeah, I should that, that should be disadvantage right there. Um, as, as, as this wall sort of, um, I don't know, like the space between where the woods are and the wall is sort of all flat land. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where the main road is. Um, that's where a few of the like family farms are that you've seen, um, stables, things like that are out mm-hmm. here in this in this part of the of the city. Um, 
You gotta get to the wood. How do you all want to do it? Quietly. Army Undetected. Crawl. Army crawl? <laughs> Army crawl? Army crawl? Um, how bright is that? Is it like dark? It's, it's getting pretty dark, yeah. <laughs> It's raining okay. and muddy now. Do they have How lights you... going or like I mean torches and stuff? Or... They have torches, but no like high beams. How many... Can we even work? It's about. How many guards are like further down the wall? It's about 600 feet, so about. Yeah. <laughs> about 200 yards. Are there guards all along the wall or are they more stationed around the main the gate? The main gate, and then some are posted up at the top of the walls, but they are. Can we. Can we... Make a wide arc towards it. We could we mm-hmm. shimmy down where there's less guards and then try to make work this. That's what. That's what I'm asking. What you guys want to do? Do you want to try is. to go like a wide arc, or yeah. do you want to try to ride this wall farther and hope that there's no no guards on the other like as you turn? Um, I like the hope, but I can I can go ahead and peek around the corner like the and see. Maybe we still can do that. Definitely me. No. So, okay, I'm gonna do that. Just, I'm gonna like work my way along and like just. Peek to see if there are any guards around the way, to see okay. if it's safe to go that way. Ooh, that's worse. Um, fifteen. Yeah, you don't see any guards on this side. Okay. You assume probably the next batch of guards would be at the uh, at the next gate, which would okay. be on the full south side. Okay, so I'll... so we'll go that way. Should we? Yep, and then I need another group stealth check as you guys try to make your way across this big field. Stealth. Oh, that's better. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> Hopefully he's taking an average. What'd you get? 11. 11. 25. <laughs> Four. <gasps> oh, no. 13. 13. I don't like the water. It's raining. <laughs> Every so, I every so often, she like shimmies it out and like gets it off of her. Yeah, she's like, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah. Does that like ear flopping? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. What Isla does in the middle of the night. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she gets this like ear tickle in the middle of the night. And she goes, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, it wakes me up every time. Um, yes, yeah, so you guys, you guys are able to sneak out into this field. Um, you get like you can see where the woods start to like kind of open up and where the, the main road is for you to get to. Um, and then you you hear oh, no. a horn. No. Behind. No. And at this point, you're about 150 what? yards away and you hear this horn blow and you can't quite see or hear because you're a little far away at this point from the wall. You're almost to the wood, um, but you definitely can hear them oh, announcing no. and you hear the hoofs of horses. No! <laughs> what do you do? Oh. Run! Run, motherfucker! Run, motherfucker! Run! Run. 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 Okay. It's a straight Run. dash. 400 yards. Yeah, Can I feet. do like a. No, he said 150 feet. Yeah, because they're only about 50 yards. Oh, about 150 oh. yards. It was like 200 yards to get to the. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh. It's about 150 feet at this point. Okay. Oh, well, I'm making there two rounds of my dash. We're running. Yeah. Can I. You see a create do a minor steam. illusion um, and try to create sound and people like whispering or going the opposite direction of us to like try to throw oh, what's the range on it? Um, it says 30 feet so I can do it 30 feet you know in the opposite yeah, direction yeah you can do it like in a in Go, like side, people right? yeah like we're going this way and I want to do like 30 what, feet what like illusion, louder what illusion do you want to do well I can only do um, like sounds mm-hmm. like small sounds um, like whisper to a scream so maybe I can do something like people say it's clear over here yeah something like that like this way this, this way. way but they're like going got it got it yeah, yeah. Mis- a little misdirection a little bit if we can help yeah so you throw that off in a different direction as you guys break for the woods um, and you guys watch as like the horses are like making ground like right at you and then as Anari does some sort of magic and throws a voice that says this way about 30 feet from it you watch like the people like the soldiers and the horses stop and then look and then look back at where you are and then they start to go towards where she threw the go 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 and then as you yell that they turn back that was me 
sorry. Uh, no, they go towards where okay, you are. Okay, I was like, no, no, no. Don't ruin it, Hannah. Hey, everything you do at the table is immersive. I'm right? sorry. I'm sorry. Culture East. Was that a question? Did that count? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect. That was the. That's the perfect example the of perfect. DM counting everything at the table. Going on. Well, how'd you yes. get the idea that the next guy died from falling on a bed though, or whatever? Oh yeah. That's all I remember. Only answer my questions, okay? <laughs> yes. Why did you have to pull? Okay. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah. You guys make it to the woods. Um, as you guys get into the woods, you start to take Kehana's guidance as she marches you north, um, farther into the Whitetail Woods. It's still a few days travel by foot, um, but you start making progress this evening. Um, how long do you want to go before resting? Uh, as far as you can take us before we need to. I only get four hours, so it's up to y'all. I figure the farther we can get, yeah, as far the best, can considering. Yeah. Then we can go all night if you want. Okay. And rest during the day. That's fine. Yeah, let's yeah. keep going. Push it. Let's go. Cool. So, at least till 3 a.m. You guys go through the night. Um, the rain picks up pretty severely through the through the evening. Oh, of course, um, I'm loving it. <laughs> I don't know. She has this thing about me getting wet. Like maybe this is made out of sugar or something. <laughs> I mean, like I hope his cape is getting real muddy. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's terrible in the woods too because it's like all sloshy, all the yeah, yeah. the like, mud. The, yeah. the mud. We have to keep going. My feet are cold. <laughs> But yeah, the, okay, the rain picks up. Whining in the back. <laughs> I'm tired. How much yeah. longer? Yeah. Are we there yet? Yeah, throughout the night, the rain picks up. It's um, pretty severe, but you're able to push through. Um, you're pretty confident that you're still going the right direction. Can you make a survival check for me? Yeah. yeah. Am I familiar <laughs> at all with any yeah. of this area? Let's, let's see if I can get on this, guys. Maybe as we get closer, I will be. I traveled through. This is a different direction than you guys came last time. You guys last time, I'm looking at the map right now. So you guys last time went straight west towards the mountains. That's Mm. where your city was. Uh, Can I help her? I'm proficient in survival. I don't know where you're going. Yeah, that's why I was asking that. I would hopefully be familiar with the Uh, terrain. 12. 12? I'm pretty confident you're still going the right direction. Okay. Um, With the rain, it's hard to tell because you can't really use the same, like, star sort of like landmarks Mm -hmm. um but you guys march on through the night (coughs) i swear i've seen this tree before are we going to isadora melacroft you step through the portal and instantly melacroft instantly you can just feel the moisture of the Feywild all over your metal. Um, everything here, it's like a its like a rainforest as far as the humidity and the wet. Um, not ideal conditions for a machine, but perfect conditions for one. the wildlife. Take my little rag and like, yeah, <laughs> every now and then. He's got condensation <laughs> all over him. He's sweating. Yeah. How is he sweating? <laughs> um, but... As Charlene promised, you've made it to the Feywild. You look around and there's colorful, exotic plants. There's streams of water that are out of sight, but you can hear just steadily flowing. There's um, the cooing and uh, the chirping of different birds and insects buzzing around you. It's beautiful. It's different. For you, Malacroft, it's different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for Kehana, no, sorry, for Isadora, it's... Thank you, Hana. It's, um... Home. It's familiar. Mm-hmm. Um, as soon as you kind of get your bearings, you see why this spot was chosen by Charlene. As you 
overlook where the forest, you can sort of see where the light uh, sort of breaks through the treetops in front of you and from where you're standing with the light, there's sort of this like blanket of just brightness that makes it really difficult to see through. But as you sort of like push through some of the, some of the just like foliage, it opens up and you see this broad lake um, that has waterfalls, like three different waterfalls all flowing into this lake. And this lake is opening up into many different rivers and tributaries and that's this water you're hearing trickling all around. But this spot is just picturesque of beauty where you see just butterflies and different insects just kind of flowing over the water. It's beautiful. And then you see over one of the, where two of the waterfalls sort of crash into the lake, you see this small sort of topped mountain. Um, it's more of a hill, but compared to the rest of the landscape, it's the most pointed spot. And you assume that's where the, uh, the fane would be. Across this lake, on the top of the mountain. A secret fane of Freya in the yeah. Feywild. The Freywild. The Freywild. <laughs> the Freywild. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a good title. And that's what we'll end the session. Yeah, I never would have guessed that we were going to go to the Feywild this episode. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. And as you guys know, Cody and Mandy will be gone next session. Yeah. Wow. So, oh, that's sorry. perfect. That's why. Yeah. Okay, okay. He's um, a genius. <laughs> genius. So, so next session, you not will be here. Will be here. You guys will be no. tracking them down. I forgot they were going to be gone. I didn't but think that through at all. During the next session, you guys, you two, will be making that trek through the Feywild to the Fane. You guys. We'll be trying to find you. Hopefully. We'll be trying to find you. <laughs> <laughs> JK, we're changing our minds. Hey, guys. We're going to be creating a new character. We're going to be creating a new character.